Oh, yeah, Annabelle, come home. Yeah, we saw that, too. Uh, three killer fucking toy movies in the span of a week. What? Yeah, Welcome to the play, podcast. <laughs> Child's Play, Annabelle, and Toy Story 4. Welcome to Not in the Movie Podcast, episode 32. Because Annabelle 3 comes out next week. So that's why I said in the span Did of a week. Did our top 10 discussion go up, Gore? No. Stop talking to me. Jesus it Christ. <laughs> it did it. Nah. it well, I was going to put it up today, but I didn't have enough time to edit it if, early today, so I edited it while I was here eating. I'm not done if, if you want, just stagger yeah. it. So put that one up on Sunday, and we'll throw this one up like Friday. We'll, we'll try to stagger some of the releases to get back to schedule. Yeah. I, I'll, probably, I'll, I'll, I'll put this one up on Tuesday. It's fine. Like, the last couple of weeks, I couldn't. Cause that, like, yeah, okay, we'll figure it out. Um, yeah. yeah, so we went on a small little weird hiatus just because... Uh, I was on a vacation. Not really, actually. I just put up the other one, like, a week and a half for, ago. For us, personally. For us, oh, personally. Oh, okay. oh, it's, just, been, it's been a yeah. while. Sure, sure, sure. Um, yeah, so, yeah, uh, not not too much in movies have happened. Uh, also, I'm Adrian. Got Chris. Got a Kyle. Casey's uh, been snapped again. But uh, we'll, we'll avenge him next week. Uh, yes. He'll be re- yeah, the re-release coming out next week, so... Uh, We'll avenge him again. Yeah. And of course, Kyle's like, oh boy, we get to talk about Endgame some Yeah, more. yeah, dude. We're going we're gonna to watch <laughs> you out. You ready? Finish the fight again. <laughs> Look at him. He's just like. I told, I told him, let's go watch Avengers again. He didn't want to, though. What? Of course not. It was like Probably. late in the fucking day. Why didn't you go see fucking. Uh, what's the other movie that came out with Shaft that bombed? Men in Black. Yeah, I still haven't watched that. Has anyone watched that? Anybody? No. I was going to watch it today, but I was like, you know what? I'd rather see Toy Story 4 again. I really oh. <laughs> I really want to, just because I love Tessa Thompson and Chris Hemsworth, but man, it just sucks. I love I, the it original just sucks. Man it just, uh, I See, I, I, I like the other ones. Like, I, I do like them, but I'm not, I, like, I, don't have, like, I don't have a huge investment to them, so it's like, I'm okay, but like I hear it's like not even worth watching, so I'm like... 3 is good. Man, Black like, 1 is... 3 was surprisingly, I, I, like... I, I, 3 I like. I like. Yeah. I like 2 yeah. is... Poopy. Yeah, two of. is doo doo, uh, but Men in Black one was really fun. I really enjoyed that. And yeah. It has one of my favorite performances ever from Vincent D'Onofrio as the fucking bug dude. He's like, oh, oh, I just. Oh. That's how. That, that's his performance. Oh. That's be a thumbnail right oh. there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. That guy's crushing the bugs, and, and he's just like, oh, it's a great performance. Anyway, go ahead. Um, uh, what movies are we talking about this week? This week we're going to go into a uh, big discussion on Toy Story 4. That's our big, big one. Hell yeah. Uh, next we also... week we're going to make we're gonna make Forkies next week. Yeah, Forky yeah. contest. Yeah, that's, buy... our, that's our thing Shit. we're doing uh, next week. Um, we're I'm going excited. To... I need to make my own Forky. Gonna make... We're all going to make yeah, our own Forkies guns. and we're going to decide which one's the best. Yeah, and two guns in each hand. Yeah, two guns. <laughs> Remember that movie? Yeah, fucking. Yeah, yeah. two guns. Mark Wahlberg. There we go. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna do that. Child's Play and Shaft because we watched Shaft. It's been a while since that movie came out, but we'll just we'll just talk about it. Yeah, it's only been a week actually. I know it feels like a long time. That movie sure felt like a long time. Ooh. Uh, got Ooh. got a couple pieces of news. He's a shitty mother. Shut your mouth. We got a couple pieces of news. Nothing too much. Uh, and then trailers. We're gonna go through Bat Trip, Ready or Not, The Peanut Butter Falcon, and the Banana Splits movie. <laughs> Did so. you see the trailer for Peanut Butter Falcon, Kyle? Yeah, yeah. You didn't like. Why, why are you like that? This is, this is like totally up your alley. I thought alley. you like it because it's Shia LaBeouf. You, nah, I, yeah, you. I didn't see it. You didn't. You didn't see it. You want? Do you want to watch you know. it now while I get? While I get. Yeah, go ahead and watch yeah. it. Uh, ask, ask what you guys have been watching or whatever. Yeah, I'll, yeah. T- I'll talk to Chris ask. about that. If you want to mute us right now and just. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm watching it right He's now. He's doing it. Okay, right, leave him alone. Yeah, fuck Kyle. Okay. guy. Dirtbag. <laughs> he gets still here, isn't <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe not. All right, All right uh, Chris, what do you watch? Uh, I watch. Well, I, I'll talk about this one because obviously everything else we watched, I, I watched at least. We're going to talk about. Uh, I saw three movies today. I saw Child's Play. I saw Toy Story Four. But the one I'm going to talk about, I saw Anna or Anna, whatever. Do you want to say that uh, for when Kyle's back? No, he didn't see it. So oh, okay. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, yeah. he he's he wants to see it. I like Luke Besson. I like Lucy. So let's hear how it was. Okay, so he was listening. Uh, all right, so Luke Besson, I like as well. One of my favorite movies ever is Leon the Professional. I love that movie. Um, and this movie looked like it could have been, you know, like some fun, you know, like Atomic Blonde, but to a lesser degree. Right. Where the trailer is just like, 
it, it was a whole action scene pretty much the trailer. And it was a pretty dope action scene. She just like uses plates to fucking so, murder dudes and stuff. It looked cool. And but, the editing was good. Here's so, the thing. Right. Atomic Blonde also looked cool. And I, that was like one of my least oh, favorite boy. movies of that year because I felt like that movie dragged and dragged. And yeah, dragged. this one kind of does too. But Atom- Atomic Blonde was a little bit different because it was definitely more dialogue heavy. This one, there's a lot of like twists and turns and stuff. Okay, so there's that's cool. a lot more stuff you going think I on. Like it? You'd find if you, you'd you'd be okay. You'd be like, eh. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's a good time. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Whatever. It'll be gone from the theaters in about a week, so because it is I not really, do well. I want to go see Ma. I might go see that tomorrow. You better. That's the yeah. last. That's the last showing. <laughs> it's, it's tomorrow that's, night. At Ma's 10:45. a fun movie. Ten forty-five oh, tomorrow night is the last showing of it, so I might go. You see guys it. should saw Ma instead of fucking Shaft. Oh, I already saw Ma. Yeah, but it was still been a fun theater. And Ma is like we, we we're trying to watch Shaft for the meme. What meme? We, we, we just kept we trying to did. we kept trying to to peer pressure uh, my friend into watching it. He just didn't really want to watch it, and we finally made him agree to watch it. We'll okay. It. It's for a sounds meme. like a sounds like a reason. I mean, I saw Death of a Nation just so we could talk side, about side it. Side note: so What's the biggest theater you've been in, Chris? The biggest oh, theater? Oh. Yeah, big like most screens. How was the, the most screens you've ever been in? Uh, I've been in a 24 one before. Oh, I have 24 was, here. Yeah. Kyle and I cool. found a 30 screen one. Wow. Fucking massive. Imagine that theater during Inf- uh, Infinity Game or whatever. I, I want right. to kind of go, I want to see if there's a way I can look at how many how many times it was showing. Like, we went to this plaza, right? It was like 10 o'clock at night. That plaza was like filled as if it was like 6 o'clock at night, dude. Like, people were like wow. walking around. Kids were like riding a little, the little train shaft? thing around there. There's like giant plaza that was outside the, the theater. Oh, yeah. I have a couple of, I have an outdoor mall theater. Um, yeah, it's like one of those. It, yeah. But yeah. it's fucking huge. But that's like only a six stories. That yeah. I have, I don't think I have any 24 screen ones around here, but I've been in a 24 yeah, one. I, I think 20... I went to, I went to, um, I think the one in, uh, the Disney was a Disney World in Florida, or is it Di- it's Disney, Disney World, World yeah. right? I fucking know. Uh, I think that one, like right next to Disney, had a 24 screen theater. Uh, it had like two fucking like you had to go upstairs to get yeah. to some of the fucking yeah. So I think yeah, that was the no. Fucking, so I I have I a, a 24 one here. That's my favorite theater. It's got every every one of there is recliner seats, all leather. That's the one I fucking yeah. miss. That's the one thing I don't like about AMC Movie Pass. I miss that fucking theater, dude. As soon as, yeah. as, soon as, as, soon as Cinemark gets on it, I might just switch because I really fucking. And oh, I miss that that's theater. right. That's the theater. I went to the city uh, a few years ago for when Uncharted 3 came out. So was, <laughs> uh, they were doing an event there. And I was like, all right, I'll go. Uh, and if you go there, you get like the collector's edition for free right. pretty much. Um, they sent it to you early and stuff, which was cool. So I thought, that's, there you go. Nice. Yeah, no, the, the theater we went to it was 30 screens and they had a bar like right when you walk in. Oh, man. Yeah. 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 Fancy we theater. Got, this is, this, funny the theater, drinks. me and you were going to go to the last year for Incredibles 2 before it sold out. The, yeah, the same uh, one or the that one else, one? Yeah. It, no, it's a really good one. The, that's why it was sold out. Because um, <laughs> if it was a shitty one, it would just it, we would have been fine. But I don't think it was showing that day for some reason. Anyway, uh, that, that theater has a bar, a nice little bar nice. inside of it. Hey, we went yeah. in there, we <laughs> ordered uh, two Kai juices. Yeah. Oh, uh, what was that for Godzilla? Yeah, yeah. it was... What uh, was it again? It was... Rum. Yeah, rum. It's, it's, yeah, it was, it was like, like oh pineapple juice. It, it pineapple tastes juice. like you're licking Godzilla's. It know. tasted like pineapple juice until the <laughs> very end when it was just straight vodka. Oh, uh, rum. Oh, was, oh yeah, mix, rum. Did it, did it mix it well? Uh, we we mixed no they well they know they make it intentionally oh look, you mix it no well we mix it yeah but they make it intentionally like they they put the rum on the top so it looks looks uh, cool that way okay. uh, we, we okay. mixed it but yeah so it was like it was a, a just a regular pineapple drink until the very fucking end I was like ooh. Um, but yeah, that was that was a that was a big fucking complex, and yeah, that 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 outdoor plaza, that place is popping at ten o'clock at night. I'm like, why are you bringing your kids yeah, out here at ten o'clock? Dude. What what day was it? Was it Friday or Thursday? That was Saturday. It was, it was Saturday. Saturday. All right, so there you go. Um, there you go. Uh, I'm yeah. gonna have another horrible story about kids at ten. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I that's also another reason why I wanted to go see Toy Story four again is because my first screen was fucking. Uh, a fuck yeah, we'll talk about it. I, oh, I think yeah. mine, it was, was mine was like fucking abysmal. Mine was all right. And you know what? Here's the thing. All right, I'm gonna pull this up. No, mine was here's, here, here, here's the thing. Right. I I go into IMAX thinking no families want to pay for IMAX showing for their kids. Like, why are you gonna pay? What your kid is a give a fuck if it's 
IMAX? Like, why Why are their families going into IMAX theaters? Like, now, I'm not saying, like, they can't, like, whatever. Right, right, but, right. like, it, first off, we, we went to the 9.30 showing of Toy Story, yeah. not 9.45 showing of Toy Story 4 in the IMAX. And there were, like, families going in there. I'm like, why are you bringing your kid? Like, why are you paying the extra exactly. charge? Because how, how much is IMAX at, at 10 o'clock? That, that's, like, a full, like, $13 ticket, isn't it? like 20 dude 13 over there yeah it's cheap <laughs> yeah, here. over here it's like over here it's like 18 yeah. like 50 or something and like why are you paying yeah, for dude. each kid like that much That's in actually climax good. Like, and like i don't know i'm i'm being like well the kid the kids yeah you're right the kids would be cheaper I think. god yeah. damn but uh kids would be cheaper they, they would be but still like even then like it'd be cheaper if you yeah. went to a regular showing that's the thing. I actually went to I went to the Dolby Cinema thing that AMC starts putting in theirs. Yeah, I'm so uh, jealous. In their I've theaters. still never been in a Dolby one. It's it's really good. I sh- I should have picked a different movie for it to have my first one. Cause, I want to fucking watch it, Avengers and Dolby, dude. Oh. That would have been amazing. But but the game, I mean the game, the movie was about to begin. And they do the whole thing like this is the real shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just like, and they they give you examples, and the the seats fucking shake, and and it gets really loud, and then the movie starts, and it never happened throughout the entire movie. I'm, I'm, there was one time, it was one time when uh, what's his name, the the bunny and the duck get big. That one point at the end of the movie, they get giant, and yeah. and it's it's like really loud, and the seats start shaking. That was Dude, the only time. But anyway, that's the one thing I legit. If if Avengers gets released in Dolby, I might drive. A handful of hours out of town just to go see it in Dolby because I've never seen the Dolby picture and that's probably the movie to watch it in. Oh, uh, by the way, are you writing timestamps? Uh, no, we're still we're still on what you watch. What you're talking about. Oh yeah, I'm right. still. Yeah, and it was alright. Anyway. <laughs> oh <laughs> no, 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 let's, let's okay. talk more about uh the theater. You you weren't even done yet with the IMAX thing, were you? No, I I just really want to fucking watch and uh well first off I'll watch I'll watch Avengers and IMAX one more time but uh. I, I wanted to see. I just want to see in Dolby, dude. That, that I hope. I hope my Dolby has Endgame next week because that would be nice. I want. I want. <laughs> I just want to go to Dolby just in general. Yeah. Because if it if it does have it, it in sucks. Dolby, it I'm sucks. Because like, fucking, I would have totally been down for whatever movie that when I was over there with Kyle. But literally, like the one in Dolby was fucking Men in Black, and I'm like, I'm not gonna fucking uh, watch Men in Black and Dolby. Dude, Rocket Man would have been awesome. Uh, I, I know Kyle wouldn't want to see that though. I saw it, when I saw Rocket Man, it was in uh, at an arc light, which has like really good sound. So mm. no, I'm no, I'm saying, but the Dolby Cinema actually is like one of those like D box kind of things. Um, they, they, have uh, you been in Dolby yet, Kyle? It's not exactly the same. It rumbles a lot. That's really yeah, that thing. Yeah, that thing is like so. pure sound. Like they they go yeah. all in on that. You know what, one cool thing about the Dolby Cinema? Maybe I shouldn't tell you because it's a really cool thing they do at the end of the movie. Um, just say it. Uh, it's it was just really cool. The movie ends, and then on the walls, they have this like blue light that that like turns off when the movie starts. Uh, but when it ends, it turns on. But it goes. It doesn't make a bu noise, but it just felt like it did. It's just like this nice little like blue strip. I was just like, yo, I, I felt good. I don't know why. Nice. God, I just I theater. want a Dolby theater here. And that was a so good bad. theater experience. There was one girl in the background that was a little noisy, but it was fine. She was getting her fucking. Your pussy fucking pump, dude. Huh. That that D box. What the fuck are you talking about? I was talking about like a nine year old girl, by the way. I just wanted Jesus. To throw Why that did you out that there. You just left it to go. Oh fuck that! I want him to feel uncomfortable now. <laughs> fuck right, that. Moving, moving on. Um, anyway. yeah, uh, so Anna, Anna was good. What else did you watch? Uh, Toy Story Four, Child's Play. Uh, I saw a Silent Voice. Uh, since uh, the last time. I I love that movie. That that was. Oh yeah, you put that like number two. What? Where'd you watch it on? I put it number one until Toy Story Four came out. Uh, it was on Netflix. It, it came out officially in America in April because it, it's been showing in like the the Fathom events things for the last couple years, but it never got official release. I like in how America. Outdated, outdated your top ten is already. I know. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. Whatever. Right, right, Maybe right. I'll put a little. I'll put a little thing in the beginning of. It doesn't that matter. Episode. I mean, I mean, you can just, just date it for sure. Yeah. Really but um oh, i'll watch that yeah i'm looking for that yeah that, that was really great nice. uh did you uh, watch that skit show yet like, no Fuck. i started actually <laughs> i sat down and watched the first two episodes you're gonna like it it's fucking good okay. it's like that weird adult swim humor watch it watch oh, yeah, it watch it like late at night. yeah watch, watch it late at night when you're like ready to like wind down but everything everything's funny does everything, anything weird is funny <laughs> it's really fucking. Good. I could watch Eric Andre any day, any time, any period in my life. And it any would be period. Fucking hilarious, dude. There's a part. Where, 
<laughs> I don't want to spoil Eric Andre's show. I'm no, just thinking yeah, about it. it. Dude, oh, God, there's so movie. many great moments. That I'm just like, that might be the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Have you ever watched Eric Andre's show, uh, Kyle? Yeah, I, I love it. I yeah. absolutely fucking love it. Yeah, that's great. There's one interview with Lance Reddick, I'll just say. That is, might be my favorite interview ever of all time. Lance, I, Reddick, Lance Reddick played the, uh, the um, oh, what's his name? Uh, Hercules? No, he was in uh, John Wick. He plays the concierge. Or uh, I think he was a concierge. Or whatever. Oh. Anyway, anyways, anyways, I need to finish. I need to finish the second season of Eric Andre show because I just stopped watching for some reason. That's how I go with TV shows. But first season was fucking hilarious. Yeah, I guess that's a good thing to bring up. Guys, I, I've, been, I've been watching. I've been watching Eric Hulu. Andre's show. Well, uh, I watch Eric Andre's show. Like I just found it on the on the internet somewhere. Uh, it's on Hulu, keep, Adrian. Keep a hush. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't I know need, where I it was, it but I've been watching like just clips of it on YouTube again. I... <laughs> There's a deal with Hulu and Spotify for five dollars a month. Yeah, I, I should. I'm just like I'm such an Apple cuck. <laughs> I have Hell Apple yeah. Music. I'm I mean, like, still Hulu for five bucks is pretty good. Yeah, I'll, I might do that. We'll see. Um, cool. Hulu's yeah, good. Eric, Eric Andre's show. I've been rewatching some skits. So, uh, yeah, no, I, I haven't really watched anything since I've been pretty much running around everywhere. Um, I did, I did watch, I did start watching that skit. So, like I said, it's fucking great. Like. Definitely up your oh. alley. Every episode is only 17 minutes long. Just fucking watch it. It's so good. I know a movie we both saw, Adrian, that wasn't Shaft. What movie? Remember? You don't remember? He's not going to get it. Think real hard, Adrian. It was a movie we watched big screen. Oh. Soaring over <laughs> California. Oh, that didn't count. It's Wait, a movie. What? What is it's that? literally so that, that's when they put they strap you in like the thing at Disneyland, and they put you oh. in like thing and they put you like in a giant like like dome. And oh, they kind of okay, move yeah. it around so it looks like you're All like right. flying over everything. Well, what was it called? It some Soarin over, over Cal- California. Soren. Soren. Sora? It's, it's literally it's literally just a movie that they. Put by the way, you. by the way, they had that Sora figure. I almost bought it at GameStop today. Wow, dude, did. so cool. Yeah, I just want to bring that up in this movie. I missed that shower class as one dude, just barely. Yeah. They had um, the goofy one. I should have bought it. Goofy. goofy, like, goofy. Yeah, goofy looking fucking like he's about to throw down on a motherfucker. Uh-huh. Speaking of uh, uh-huh. uh, uh, movies, we, we watched the Guardians of the Galaxy thing at, at Disneyland as well. Oh, was that good? That's not a movie. Well, I mean, they play videos. <laughs> okay. That's not a movie. That's not just a, it, a video that good? plays out. Who was in it? Who was it's it? It's the Tower of Terror. Let me guess. Was it Rocket Raccoon? No, it was the Tower of he, Terror. He's thing. the main character. Oh. You know, but yeah, but it, I was asking who was in it, though. No, they, so have they have characters. a video of the collector uh, who, who traps all the Guardians, and they all have their own little bit in there. So like, they all do say something. And Every oh, every actor? Yeah. Oh, that's oh, cool. oh, a weird thing about it is that uh, I mean, it's Disney. the video was 60 frames per second, which is weird to see. Wait, so, like, it? it looked really clean and smooth and stuff. Like, wow, man, movies look weird. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, but it was cool because... This uh, has got a lot of money. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, so, they do. So, in that, in that thing, uh, it, it was the old Tower of Terror, so they bring it to another room and kind of, like, give, get everyone, like, in the vibe for it. And they have an animatronic rocket who looks really good. Oh, and, it's and, really excellent. Yeah, like, the rocket rocket will like, climb up there and, like, do some stuff and, like, get like get everyone hyped up and saying, like, we're going to break out everyone in here. Um, oh, it's, that shit is fucking hype. And, it, and it's Bradley Cooper. Yeah. Oh, no, they get they get everyone in there. Yeah. So the so well, the plot, I, know, I know I know Vin Diesel is in the Fast and Furious thing, right? The, and yes. Does he voice Groot though? Uh, can yeah. You tell, can, there, there's can, a little. Can Groot. you tell though? I you think go, it's, I am Groot. I think it's before Guardians. Oh, too. it's it's baby. Oh, it's a baby Groot. It's like no, it's like teenage Groot. No. Oh, no, so no, that's hey, the after. It's, it's before too. Infinity War. Yeah, as we as we before. Okay. Um, so the whole yeah. the whole the something whole, happens in Infinity War, you know. Just saying. So the whole plot of the ride is the collector has captured the guardians and Rock just manages to escape his own like cell, but he needs to break out the other guardians and he needs our help. Like he he has to like go through some like lock or something, and the only way he can get in is through us through us the people on the ride. And so he needs so you your have hands. to like. These are, everyone is like scan your like ready to scan so everyone puts up their arms and scans it and then you go into the ride 
Rocky comes. He's like, yeah, I'm about to break him out. He gets like this electrical plug, plugs it in. He's like, uh oh. Right goes back. Yeah, the, ra- yeah. <laughs> the, the, the elevator shoots back, and you Uh-oh. shoot up and start <laughs> dropping funny. up and down. It's so fucking and, fun. And it plays like a, it plays like one of six songs. I, so I love the galaxy. On, of if you go on there, each, like song. each time you might go onto it, you might play a different song. It gives a different vibe yep. to, the, to the whole the whole uh, ride. Yeah, yeah, we got a we got a fun song. Though, I, I like I like. I don't remember what song. I fucking. I oh, I was it. fucking. I was freaking out. So no. yeah, I fucking hate drops, it's, dude. I'm Tower of Terror is really cool. I'm a fucking, no, it is. I'm it's a surprising. fucking bitch, dude. I can't do that. Yeah. And so honestly, I'm not, I'm not surprised it was really cool. And honestly, it's a honestly, I think it's an upgrade over the Twilight Zone one. I like, I like. Yeah, it. I mean, Twilight, Twilight Zone. Zone it, it's it was pretty old. Last time I was on it was a long time ago when I was a kid, and even I was like, this is a little like janky because I, I didn't watch Twilight Zone. I didn't. I did watch Twilight Zone. I didn't until like after that ride. Pretty much. I just think outside of the hotel being like scary and haunted, yeah, it didn't yeah, really yeah. have much to do with the Twilight Zone that much. Right, so right, it's right, just, yeah. which is weird. It's hilarious because. Uh, they definitely saved a lot of money on the Guardians one because, like, the bottom part where you're waiting to get in the thing is exactly the same as Tower of Terror. Yeah, they just have a few, look, like, all, animatronics. They just have oh, okay, all grungy okay. looking and all pipey. There's, like, uh, a costume. Okay. There's, like, a uh, Ultron, like, uh, soldier on display. Okay. Okay. So there's, you, there's a bunch of cool stuff. You never went on Star Tours before Kyle, did you? No, I have. Okay. No, on the new one, yeah. I've been on the old one and the new one. The Star Tours, That's that was fun. Yeah, they just... Go. They have. They had the planet from Last Jedi, like the salt one. Yeah. Oh, did, did someone go? Oh, there was some annoying oh, bitch right in salt. front of us. Oh, yeah. Remember that, Adrian? Yeah, all like all the, 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 the all the parents were trying to like get their kids in there by going. Whoa! No, no. There's like one girl in front of us who's like, oh, God, she's like she's like denying everything that C3PO says. Like, oh, oh, oh like oh, it was something like. Uh, all right, we should be okay. Oh, we're not gonna be okay, huh? Or some something oh, along God. that line. It wasn't exactly oh, that, we're but not like, be okay. yeah, something, something like along that. along those like lines. Like talking back to the ride, like, oh, you're so much they, smarter they, than the ride. I, just, I hate when people talk to kids like that. I really do. No, she was saying it out loud. No, she, she was, was like, ta- like doing like oh, the she movie, was just saying it. That movie oh, shit, you know, where it's it. like where it's like someone responds to the movie. Oh, uh, she wants to be like the smart person, like oh, yeah, she wants everyone to laugh, like oh, I know the right. Oh, oh okay. Something I, bad's gonna happen. Oh, everything, oh, everything's okay. gonna be all right. No, it's not. Or she something, be the something cool like person. that. No, it's not. She wants to be the cool person. But uh, no, that, that was one though. She just looks like a jackass. So. Uh, yeah. No. So um. Kyle, what else? did you watch anything else? Or did yeah, you watch I, did. Anything? I did. You didn't watch anything. I, I did. I, I, I rewatched Idiocracy, the Mike Judge movie. Oh, yeah. That movie has it not has, held up. It has not held up. I just watched it. It's not held up. And it's funny because it's, it's a movie that's trying to be like predictive about the future and everyone's going to be stupid and all that stuff. They're just going to watch like jackass stuff for the rest of the time. It's like. Go watch jackass it's stuff. Not, it's not how. <laughs> That's not how uh, America is like today. It's way different than... Yeah, you know, now they just watch reality shows. Yeah, no, course. this is America. What's, what's happening with Kim Kardashian? Yeah, it's what? like we live in a society for 2006, and it's just like... Uh, it's just not that funny either. And all yeah, that. like, like I remember that was like one of the first times I saw What's-His-Name. He plays the president. Um, oh, um, shit, Terry Crews. Um, yeah, yeah. He plays like, the president, right? Yeah, I that. does he have like long hair or something like that? Yep, he has like yeah. big long white hair. I haven't seen that movie in, in a very long time. It but, is uh, not held. Up. I mean, the only the thing, the cool thing I'll say about it is it has a really low budget and they do a lot with it. But, yeah, it was not it's very like fun. I love it's like the Southland Tales of uh, comedy. Yes, <laughs> exactly. That's how it felt. Southland Tales had a really small budget too, and it looked pretty good. Uh, yeah, no, it for the time. Well yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, not uh, not very fun. And I love Office Space, and I love Thieves and Butthead, and King of the Hill, of course. So yeah. And other than that, I saw the two movies we'll talk about later. Okay. Cool. Okay. Oof. All right, so that's what we watched. Let me make a time stamp. How about you? You didn't say what you watched. Yeah, just that that skit show. Oh, okay. In those uh, Disney rights. <laughs> I've been I've been doing yeah I've been doing that skit show, and then on my uh I ended up getting a YouTube Red, which I'm gonna start doing on oh, YouTube Premium. Welcome to the whatever. club. I, I, I'm going to get sure getting that every single time I, I have a long road trip because uh, it's awesome. The ads. Like, it's awesome to uh, – no, it's not even that. Just to download every single video and just, like, binge my entire YouTube backlog. Yeah. Um, find out what happened to our favorite YouTubers and whether or not they're uh, good people or not. Yeah. yeah we, we, you, guys, you guys know what we're talking about. Uh, no more words. Uh, 
So there's that. Let's uh, let's just knock Shaft out of the way. Let's 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 talk about that. Yeah, not much to talk about, honestly. Yeah, yeah let's do this super fucking quick. All right, uh, the original so, no, Shaft was a was a. All right, go ahead. Uh, so yeah, our our friend didn't didn't want to see this at all. So we're just kind of memeing on it, saying, "Oh man, we should watch it. It looks so fucking funny, man." Just... We kept seeing a bunch of advertisements, like all. Oh over no, the place. he didn't. He didn't notice it though. Remember, because uh, he didn't the know. Original, he, he didn't see a single trailer for this, so he didn't know they were actually connected. He thought it was like another, just another, uh, another make of Shaft, right? He knew there was a Shaft cinematic universe. Yeah. So, so he the, Sha- he, the Shaftverse. Yeah. yeah. So he was yeah. like, "Oh, why is everything <laughs> obvious?" <laughs> there you go. Uh. But anyway, so he didn't, he didn't he didn't know that was that, so right? So he's like he kept saying that's not my shaft, like whatever. So he didn't he didn't ever see a trailer for that. So he didn't know Richard Roundtree was in it. So he got super hyped when he thought when Richard Wait, Roundtree showed that, up. That doesn't make any sense because Sam Jackson already played fucking Shaft twenty years ago. Yeah, he's dumb. Uh, <laughs> who so, who who? Your friend or yeah. Sam Jackson? Okay. No, my friend. Yeah. I was about to say uh, that that seems like a fake Shaft fan to me. No, so mm-hmm. well he already isn't even a fan. Like he he just uh, okay. he around. watched one like six Richard Roundtree's my Shaft. I mean yeah, I like, like Shaft. Shaft goes to Africa or whatever. Yeah, there's like, like three of them. Yeah, Shaft's he, he, big score or something yeah, like that. Yeah, that's the one he watched. That's the one. That's the only yeah. one he's watched. That's the third one I think. That's the, right? that's the only the one he watched. The, no, I think that's the second one. But anyway, so he he thought that it was like a cool cameo that that Richard Roundtree showed up, right? Like he just like showed up out of nowhere and, and surprised everyone. And True. me and Kyle and he was like, dude, I get that was pretty cool that like, Richard Roundtree showed up, huh? Like. That was a cool surprise. Me and Kyle like, oh, that wasn't nearly enough. What are you talking about? Motherfucker was on the trailer as if he was going to be some prominent role. Yeah. Yeah. He's on the poster. And it says like, Andrew Trout. And he was like, what? <laughs> and he was like, yeah, we, we showed him the trailer. And then we started seeing advertisements all of a sudden everywhere. He's like, what the fuck? They advertise him as if he's going to be a big part of the movie. Now I'm pissed. And to be honest, I wish he was. Because when he shows up, I mean, I like that he just pretty much tells Sam Jackson's dumbass in this movie that's sh- like, hey man, you old as fuck. Shut up, you ain't you shit. Look, you look as old as me. <laughs> yeah, which is funny because he's, he's eight years like, older yeah. than Sam Jackson. <laughs> but it, it made sense in the in the tw- 2000 Shaft because they make a joke about it in this that he's actually just the uncle of Shaft. Right. So in this one they say no, he ain't the uncle. He's actually the son. He's the he's the father. Yeah. Which I was like, okay, it's like he's only the nephew of Shaft. So. I mean, it's still no, whatever. He's, uh, him only being eight years older. Also, Sam Jackson looks like he could definitely pass for sixty, which they say I think he was sixty in this right. one. But um, uh, anyway, yeah. all I wanted to say is that the original Shaft, while it has funny moments, obviously because it's huh. very date, it's very dated, and, and it had funny moments even for the time. Like there was, there's some comedy in there. It was still a little bit more serious than just being a straight uh, up like Twenty One Jump Street fucking Baywatch dumb fuck ass R rated. <laughs> parody pretty much uh and i just i didn't find it that funny I, to, be honest, to be honest okay. I, found, I i i like the young guy way more i like sam jackson this no I, I, I did I, because I, I sam did, jackson I, was saying the same fucking joke or, yeah. oh man you go get pussy, yeah. pussy. That, that, that's the one thing i want to talk about this movie it's so weird how like the entire so, message of the movie is like okay uh, Sam Jackson Shaft is telling young Shaft, like, hey, man, you gotta, like, actually go out there, like, you want, yeah. you should fuck your girl, your, your friend who yeah, just and the young one, the girl. young one, yeah, and the young one's like, uh, no, you uh, no, take women stop being respect. A mis- stop being misogynistic fucking yeah. asshole. And Which I'm like, alright, all right. I mean, I, I didn't mind what he was saying, he's just well, saying no. it over and over again, it was just like, no, fucking you know, shut up. Then, right when we got out, me, Kyle, and, and Nick were like, that was pretty funny. I couldn't tell you a single goddamn thing. I yeah, exactly. That. I remember I laughing. There was a couple of funny moments. I can't I remember a single moment or a single joke in that movie, but I was like, I laughed a couple times. I, yeah, I, I did, did laugh a couple I didn't, times. I didn't have a bad time. I was just like, like, why the fuck dude, did that, Shaft Dude, the first the... act is the longest first act I've ever felt in my entire life. Right, I was until lo- Sam Jackson dude, showed up. I dude, like, oh I swear, God. like, I definitely fell asleep a couple of times where I'm just like, he dozing did. off, you... where I'm just like, I, why why is it taking so like When they're in that nightclub... And when they're in that night, yeah, yeah, good. No, when they're in that nightclub and the, uh, there's like a brawl happening, and there's like a brawl starts out with Young Shaft and like some yeah. white guy. Yeah. Uh, I just kept going, ooh, ooh, like going to Adrian so he could fucking wake up. And he's like, oh my god, <laughs> oh, oh my yeah, god, oh my god. <laughs> oh, you, god you hear the crowd like giggling, and you just hear one guy in the middle, in the middle of the crowd. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, Shaft! Oh my god, Shaft! Oh, uh, there was some, there was some white guy near the front who was fucking dude, loving the dude, shit. Dude, dude, there out was some. Movie. So yeah, so there was some, there was some dad in there who was like, we know who he, who, who brought everyone to this movie. He when uh, the fucking trailer for um, Ford v uh, Ford v Ferrari showed up 
We're like, oh, yeah. oh he's gonna fucking like, love it. Sure enough, he was having the fucking time of his life during that oh, trailer, dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, it was funny. I had a cr- I had a small crowd, but a crowd. No, I was actually no, surprised. Uh, it was no, like I, half the theater. The movie well. wasn't bad, but dude, I swear to God, like that first that first act, that was a fucking like. That was a fucking <laughs> that's, trek. That's the thing. I agree. I agree. Because the first few minutes is fun because you get to see, you know, Sam Jackson. Even, though, like, the recap of what happened in the last 30 years or so. Oh, adding, adding memes. I was like, all right, whatever. I guess that for the dumbass kids that are going to watch this movie because they think it's going to be a funny little comedy, I guess that's a good way to show what happened in the last few years, I guess. Like, look, there's a bed intruder. Here's a fucking yeah. leave Britney alone or whatever the fuck they're showing. Remember? But, um. It's like, all right, it's a good little right. recap, and they show actual stuff that actually happened that was fucking worth mentioning. But uh, I can see you on your phone. Anyway. Oh, uh-huh. my God. I, what? <laughs> no, I know, I know. I don't know why yeah. you interrupted yourself. I'm listening. No, no, no. I, just, I, was, I said it was great. I'm hearing you. Yeah, yeah. I said it was the best movie of the year. Silent Voice sucked. Uh, Story's dumb. John Wick's fucking fake. It's no, real. I don't know. Uh, like, I, I, like I said, like it was, it, especially like the last, like last third of the movie's fine. Like I liked it a lot. Second, yeah. I think that the second half is, is nice, where it's like, got, like it's got an equal balance of everything. First act is like oh, it's such a fucking trek to get through everything. Uh-huh. So and and don't get me wrong, when I when I say the old, the younger guy was better, I mean like I tolerated him a little bit more when he was on screen with Shaft, because every time Shaft like, yo, you good pussy? Oh, I don't know, man. I, I don't. And, and, oh. Every time he walks into a building, everybody's like, mm. I'm like, really? Motherfucker's like 80 years old. Yeah. <laughs> there's there's like a group of black women. You can right tell he's fat too. He's like a little chubby. Oh yeah, hold on. Which is funny because in Endgame you could tell that uh, as well at the end of Endgame when you see him and he's in that fucking trench coat over. I'm like, God damn, he looks fat. <laughs> like, he's getting old, I, man. He's let him enjoy it. Yeah, and no, 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 that's fine. I'm just, I'm just saying, uh, don't act like, oh, you're cool and shit when you chubby God. and old. <laughs> uh, what were you gonna say? And you got no game. Okay, yeah. So along with like the only thing that, like resonated with me with this movie, not in a good way, was the message. Like that is the only thing I can really like, remember because the rest of it was whatever. The message until. I don't know, until they just say fuck the message and then, oh, like, we have to introduce this villain who we didn't give a fuck uh, about until yeah. the end of the movie. Did, did he even exist until the third yeah. act? He, he, but he, you see him in the shadows, like Creeper. No, 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 no. Which I, is I, the I, thing, I, like, the 2000 Shaft has a great, like, two villains that are really good. No, I, Christian not, Bale and uh, the other guy, I forgot. No, no, what were you but, saying about the people behind us, Kyle? Right, so there's, like, a group of black women behind us. Uh, there's, like, Girls to Girls Night Out or some shit, right? Mm-hmm. And, like, there's a. Uh, Sam Jackson was having one of his talks about, hey, you gotta assert yourself, you gotta be dominant, you gotta be a man, stop being a pussy, you can't do all this millennial shit, you gotta act like a man, why are you, why are you not acting like a man? And just, like, a bunch of girls behind us like, mm-hmm, like, what the fuck? You wanna be treated like shit? Like, like this is fucking the 1970s? Like, well, it's so that, weird. Some people probably like that, I guess. I, I guess they do, man. I don't yeah. fucking Some know. Some people also like to have their nuts stomped on, so, I was, you know. Yeah, I, I Some don't weird know. people out there. Some people and like also, to tribute statues, so, you know. Yeah, you're right. And also, I hate how the yeah. 2000 Shaft was directed by John Singleton, the, uh, the original right, Shaft. Right, who, who just died recently. Too, yeah, right? and so, in replacement, we get Tim Story, get the guy Tim who did the Fantastic Story. Four movies. And the Barbershop movies, which the first yeah. one, admittedly, is good. I heard the third one's actually good. The second one sucked. The next but, one uh, I heard was good. Yeah, I heard I, I, the second one sucked. Though. I, I remember I liked the first Barbershop. I was like, this is funny. I'm this white. And I see funny. the second one. I see the second one. I'm like, this ain't funny. This ain't funny no more. Yeah, but <laughs> the third uh, one I heard was good. I never watched it. Though. Like, the only thing I'll remember about this movie is, like, everything around it. The audience, uh, memeing our friend and seeing it, getting the, the drinks at the bar. Uh, the only thing I'll remember yeah. is that I saw this right after Dark Phoenix, and the girl who's in this is also in Dark Phoenix. You know, the the, the love interest. She played Storm in She's Dark Phoenix. Pretty. Yeah, as I was about to say. I was like, because she was also in X-Men Apocalypse. I completely forgot she was even in that movie. And then she showed up Dark Phoenix. And I was like, hmm. And then Chef <laughs> came out. Like, Chef came out. Chef showed up. Why are you shaking your head? Um, but uh, right, after, I lost my train. I lost my train. Oh, yeah. All right, Chef. But uh, she showed up. I was like, yeah, she's very attractive. Yeah. Who, is this? Um, Who, is Who is this lass? I, 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 also, I, hate, I also hate that the best uh, shot in the trailer was actually the final shot in the movie. I hate when they, people do that. Yep. yep. When they're all walking together. That's the best shot. I love that <laughs> shot where it's like all three of them <laughs> walking together and yeah. it's got that, that cool little vibe to it. They got, I'm back. I don't know if it's cool. I'm back. 
like, like a, a, fa- a fat old dude, an old, old dude. and That's uh, life, some... man. Sometimes you just got to understand you're going to get fat and you're going to get old. You're already halfway No, I mean, I mean, no, I'm not old. <laughs> 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 all right, all right, we're going uh, to shaft. Uh, Unless you guys want to say something else. Uh, I just wanted to say that I didn't hate it. I just it was whatever. It was, it it was, was a I movie. I was disappointed. I wanted it to be a little bit more. Uh, I was disappointed. I, was I, wanted hoping... li- I wanted it to have a little bit more edge. And I wanted it to be a little bit grittier. I, I was hoping for just a straight up Twenty One Jump Street, but it, it just it fell somewhere off on the side. I would actually really recommend the two thousand one, the two thousand version, I should say, yeah. Space which Odyssey. which is the I'd second. Which is called, the second one called Shaft. This is the third one called Shaft. Even though they're all like in the same, they're all in the same universe. Yeah. Well, at least Halloween only had uh, one other universe, movie. Dude. Halloween only had one other movie called just Halloween. No, there's three of them. Same no. with this one. No, I said no. Halloween 1978, Halloween Rob Zombie, Halloween the new one. Oh, I forgot about the Rob Zombie one. Yeah, of course. Come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's going to be three <laughs> Halloween 2s. Oh, no. Halloween t- Oh, with the fucking dumbass white horse. Yeah. Oh God! Why are you oh, remind? Oh, lowish. Oh, oh lowish. They oh, won't my call the God. next you, because they actually announced that like today. I think that the next one's coming out in October 2020. Do you think they'll actually call Halloween two? Yeah. Yeah. If, it, if this one did so well, I don't see why not. You know, I I, I hope they do. They uh they decide not to do it. Oh. Yeah. You know how nice it is to have like a standalone just a, a reboot. Just a standalone. Yeah. Hey, this is a Halloween movie. Cool. But it made a lot of money, so yeah. they good. All right. It made a lot more money. I thought it was going to be. It All made right. like $75 million in its first weekend. I was like, God damn. Good, that's good more than any though. Halloween movie ever. It, it, it deserved it. It was a really good movie. I, I, I really liked it. Yeah. I really, really liked it. Speaking the intro of, The intro was really good. I remember that. He's just screaming, my God. And, and it goes to the reforming of the pumpkin. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was cool. Yeah, that was really good. <laughs> All right. Speaking anyway. of horror movies. No, let's not do this one first. Child's Play. play. <laughs> Uh, no, let's do Toy Story 4. Because yeah, no, I, I think we're going to go more into a deeper dive of Toy Story 4. Oh, oh no, I don't think so. I want to so. end on... I, I, I want to end... No, no, no. I want to end... Here's the thing, then. I want to end on more positive notes with, with gonna, Toy Story. But this is going to be... This is going to be... Negative, negative, and positive. No, negative, and I'm assuming Adrian liked it. <laughs> And I I liked it. So. I, I had a I had a good time. It was it was. I had a great. I had a really good time. I'm sorry. I, 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 I just knocked this out. Let's knock it out. Cause I want to talk about it. Uh, what? Kyle, go ahead. What 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 and why? <laughs> Casey's not here. He ain't gonna shit on you. So go ahead. And Casey, if you're watching, you know you would. So I don't even fucking. All right. So go ahead. I don't even know where the fuck to begin with this fucking movie. All right. So before I even start, I'll say oh positives so it doesn't seem like I'm oh, just yeah. shitting on it for That's no reason. Positive, all right? All right. All right. All right. All right. It, by the way, I just, I just want everybody to know he gave it a half star. Out I of a hated five. this fucking movie more so than – So here's the positives. More than what? I hated, this, I hated this movie more than any movie in recent memory. I hated it more than Fantastic what, what Beasts about, 2. What about Death of a Nation? That's not even a movie, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, he had to, he had to go mm. – what did I hate more? The the fucking the yeah, crazy yeah, yeah. Okay. I think this the crazy the most, racist guy or the killer doll movie? I think this is the most I hated a movie, like a like a movie that's actually in theaters and like that people would actually see, other than racist, is uh, uh Man of Steel. And off the top of my head. You hate a man of steel yeah. as much as you hated this? No, not as much as this. Okay. Uh, but that movie huh. gave me a headache and I really did not like it. But anyways, off the top I'm sure there's more. But positives, all right? Positives. Uh, I like the set design of the Zed Marts, I believe is what it was called. It looked like it looked, a... It looked like a junky-ass fucking... Yeah, but like I kind of like that because, you know, the mom works in a kind of shitty place. It reminded me I, so much of Kmart, and I'm just like... Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's been a while. I, it actually, it, it looks like Walmarts that I've been in, actually. Like, it looks shitty. I'm like, oh, yeah, it looks like, looks, so, it looks like a Goodwill. Yeah, Which yeah. Which is like a, a Kmart. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say Goodwill because at least for me, because every Goodwill I go to has just aisles of just clothes and then like two racks well, of shit. That's it. It reminded me of Kmart. Just, just the, the yeah, It looked like some shitty fucking store you'd go to on like right. a. It looked like, it looked like a like home. All right, that's all the positives we got. With <laughs> no, I, there's there's actually honestly a few more, and oh, yeah. that you goes to show up how smaller, much. Then. No, because I hated this fucking movie. I hated this fucking movie. I was fucking pissed off. I I love the original Child's Play. I was pissed off. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. wait. Give us some more positives. 
Good. All right. I liked when the guy near the end, right before the fucking uh, spoilers. By the way, spoilers. I like when the guy had the Chucky head on and like. Yeah, the kids, like, oh. <laughs> and, and, he spits the girl. and uh, uh, which is really funny watching that right before Toy Story Four, which has all these like l- like little girls playing with dolls and having a good time and stuff. And then this one, I really just, like, wanted to do a double <laughs> feature, but I couldn't. I couldn't find time. To it is actually a legitimately good double feature. This is because it's all about like all oh, the the friendship between a toy and a and is and is human. Uh, did and you watch like, Toy Story before friendship between or a toy after? I watched it. Well, I watched it at, uh, before, but I already saw Toy Story four anyway. So I think watching and, it uh, before had, Child's Play would be better. I, Toy Story four I saw it Thursday, but I saw it again today. I right saw now. Child's Play uh, first before Toy Story. Yeah, oh, me too. That's why you don't like it. I, I guess technically, oh. but I already saw it. No, it's all not. All right, well, no. what's one more positive, and then we'll move on to everything. You uh, need. Mark Hamill. Despite the thing he's actually doing, the voice itself was fine. He did a decent job. All right. And out of all the people, I, I thought he did really Brad good. Durif, out of all the people to replace Brad Dourif, he's one of the better ones. Okay. I can see him doing like a Chucky animated series or something like that. Oh yeah, that that voice. He's a good voice actor. He was fine. He's a great voice actor. All right, Kyle. What did you I would like say he's a movie? great. He's a better voice actor than just normal actor. Uh, not not only did I not like everything else, I despised everything else about this fucking movie. So the main problem I have with this movie, and something that just completely cripples it and yeah. made me just so fucking was. annoyed, I'm gonna guess the way it just it just, it just pissed me the fuck off. Is this is this reimagined version? Oh, one more other positive. Okay. The, oh, yeah. the, 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 uh, the director obviously knows his his stuff with horror movies. He had a Poltergeist yeah, three poster and, and uh, Killer Clowns. Killer Clowns. There's a whole different. scene about fucking. Does it Texas doesn't make Chainsaw. sense why those kids would have it because they're like 15. No, and, and no one dark. wants to watch Texas Chainsaw Massacre two, but it's well, funny. Texas Chainsaw Massacre two, I could see if they just wanted a, a shitty horror movie to watch and laugh at. I don't think they give a fuck. But, but, Texas right, Chainsaw. But good, I, I hate <laughs> I, I hate <laughs> this new idea of fucking Chucky, and. If it, if it had nothing to do with Child's Play with its own thing, then maybe this would just be bad. But the shit that with – he's a fucking uh, – or just he's just some robot. He's just, he's just whatever. He's just not even malevolent. He's not bad. He's not anything. Oh, some random Vietnamese guy at the factory is really good. I, like, I like that. I, like I that hate lot. that fucking thing. It's Why? so fucking it's stupid. Fuck oh, I'm just going to uh, remove yeah, all he, the he's a, he suddenly knows how to code everything. Yeah, it's great. It's Kyle. so fucking dumb. I Wait, all right, all right. It. Kyle, w- one second. Just Adrian, remember, he's, he's talking about a movie based on another movie where a guy literally before he dies, he grabs a doll and then uh, – in like does a voodoo chant and puts his soul inside the other doll. No, I, I know, saying. I know that one's so more when like, it comes like, to silly shit. Then I mean, I, I, don't know why on, I, on. I like, I like want to take a second to <laughs> just, just soak this in. Right. How Kyle feels about Child's Play is how I felt about Hellboy. So it's just nice to. Okay. Just be on so other end for thing, a second. No, it's nice. To be, no, 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 no. To be fair though, you don't have any love for Hellboy. He, 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 no, he loves I Child's Play. I, I have a, few, a, a new hate though. Yeah, true. But um, he loves Child's Play, so. Yeah. I love the original Child's Play. I love Child's Play 2. I love all the Child's Play. I, like, I, like, I, like, I have the Child's Play uh, steelbook somewhere I can put right here. Keep talking. I don't know. Uh, he has a steelbook for me. Uh, it's not even the Vietnamese guy. It felt like a super fucking lazy way to explain why he's fucking evil. Oh, let's get the safety parameters off him. But just the whole thing about him being a fucking robotic doll made by just some corporation. The corporation's not even fucking evil. And, ugh, fuck me. I just hate that fucking premise. It's so Black mirror and I don't, I, don't I fucking know. hate Black Mirror itself. It totally fucking is. Technology it's bad, not- technology is scary. Oh, the our youth is going to fucking... Tell me about that. Let me fucking explain. Okay, it, what do you think it's fairly, that's the only. That's the only thing it's fucking uh, is no, trying to. It's do. all about like the friendship between a doll and a kid. <laughs> fucking not. It's not about that M- fucking most shit. of that movie is that. Like it's even when they not. they kill Chucky the first oh. time, he's fucking in tears. It's just like. Oh, oh, like was... no, Chucky. Yeah, I actually felt bad for Chucky. Did they, did they, they, give, a, did they give a reason behind him actually being named Chucky? No, no, that's, no, that's, no. That, that, that was like that was more like a just like a shout yeah, out to the other person. Yeah, not place. bullshit. And they did they they fucking Tons steal the line from the first one. This is the end, even though it makes no fucking sense in this well, movie. 
fuck mm. this fucking movie. God, well, they, didn't, fuck. they didn't even wait. Hold on, they didn't even say the full line because that's not the full this line. This is the end. But obviously, that's no, what no, it's this is the end, friend. That's yeah, the full no, line. but in this movie, they just say this is the end. They I know that, and it wasn't even Andy that said it. It was a uh, no, the cop. The cop. Right. I like the cop too. I really like that actor. He's been a lot yeah. of shit. He was in Widows. He's really good. He went good. He's just, in This Is Us. Just Chucky being nothing and then having like, it, having safety shit off and then, oh, we, because he watched Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 and I want to fucking kill everybody and oh. Uh, and it was a progressive thing. Fucking, it wasn't like immediately after Texas Chainsaw 2. He yeah, he everybody. fucking went. He you sees you see the fucking scene in Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. He's like, oh, I'm going to go there. That's, not, that's I, not the. Not, oh, no, 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 no. It's a progressive thing. Like, the kids are teaching him how to stab the fucking uh, unicorn. That uh, the, the Andy comes in like crying because of Andy, fucking the boyfriend. Andy, Andy was yeah. so fucking terrible in this fucking. Uh, I don't. I don't agree. Fucking. I definitely. Idiot. I definitely don't He's agree. Like He's a fucking shit kid. He's the most unlikable little fucking no, twerp I've ever no. fucking seen in a fucking movie. I thought. I thought the little girl in fucking Toy Story Four was more unlikable than Andy was. Yeah. You're fucking out of your fucking mind, this kid. Yeah, is she wasn't playing with Woody anymore. He fuck her. This his fucking cat gets fucking slaughtered. He doesn't give a fuck oh, about. Well, I don't give a fuck about cat. See his ass when his fucking the mom's boyfriend he didn't gets. Care. What are you talking about? He, he fucking cried. He oh, cried God. over the fucking cat. What are you talking he, you, about? You, you're just making metal. shit up now because you're upset because they changed the fucking. No. No. Fuck. No. Yeah. no. Just trying to fucking save ass with this movie and chill for it, you fucking bitch. <laughs> Oh, this movie fucking sucks. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> so bad. Look at this uh, all movie going to piss. I, 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 <laughs> See, hey, Adrian, Adrian, this is why I didn't want to do it second. <laughs> I, I, I like it. You get a positive after this. I hate that Don Mancini got fucked over with this fucking movie, and they're going to He didn't get fucked over. He's still doing his own shit. He, did. he fucking did, and now people are going to say, hey, oh. Yeah, he did, but it's not like he, he can't do Child's Play stuff anymore. So fucking terrible. He's still it's doing so his own shit. Being disgusting, using the using the Child's Play name for marquee value. Why would any fucking kid in the modern age have a fucking doll like that, a doll that looks like it's from the 1980s in their fucking house. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Well, they, he has the AI shit. That's, it has to be a Child's Play movie. There are things in this movie, when they have to make it a Child's Play movie, it just shits all over the fucking original movie. And it's just not fucking funny. It's not fucking scary at all. So and pretty the pretty funny. Is disgusting. Oh, here's for Tupac. What the fuck is this? 1998. What the fuck are you? What is this? Shit? <laughs> I don't God, know. Nobody knows who Tupac is anymore. <laughs> who the fuck is? They just had a Tupac movie that came out. You probably saw that. Fucking Christ! And this movie wants so hard to be. Wait, what, did, what did they should have said for XXX Tentacle or whatever his name is? I don't, I don't know. It's fucking relevant. That at least be fucking something. Tupac. Well, what the fuck is that shit? Oh, and I just hate when you compare it to the original. Some serial killers after your fucking kid. He wants to take over his fucking body. That's fucking scary. Just in concept yeah, alone. That's that's, that's literally the last scary. fifteen minutes of that movie. No, it's it's the whole most, fucking thing. Most, no, it's not. Most of the movies, mom doesn't even fucking know the doll's alive until the last fucking thirty minutes. And then the last fifteen minutes is him chasing after Andy. Whatever. I don't think the first movie scared me, but okay. If it fucking For, is if you fucking. It, it's a it's a great movie, but I don't think it's scary. It's scary, scary when you're a kid. I didn't it think it was, I didn't think it was that scary as a kid either. I thought yeah, the well, you were second one when was that movie scary. came out. I thought the second one was scarier because uh, they have the the scene where he's like like his face is all fucked up or whatever. He's like melted or whatever in the second one. Is that the second one, right? Uh, in the in the factory. Yeah, the fact isn't that the second one too. That's yeah though. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. That, that scared me as a kid. That's all I remember being scared by. I was like, was a good ass. Hellraiser scared me. This movie is so yeah. fucking soulless. So if, you're, if you're a kid, you so watch Child's Play and then watch Hellraiser right after, which I think I did, uh, then you, Child's Play wouldn't even be a fucking issue. <laughs> well, it's not about that. It's just concept. And, ju- and when right. they did Child's Play, the, the series and the whole idea of it in here makes no fucking sense. They just, they just execute the idea of Chucky's a robot and he's going to be influenced by the shitty world around him so fucking poorly. And I just could not fucking stand it. I was fucking fuming. You know, like, you know, like, you know, like the, the uh, buddy bear? No. 
Oh, Buddy too. I like the Buddy Bear. You know, I will say this. Buddy Bear looked fucking terrifying. It's like, why would you ever want that thing around you? I, I, I want to say that I thought the animatronics for the most part were fine. I mean, the, you could say the design was bad, obviously. Oh, it was. Potato faced bitch. Like, yeah, he, he, looked, he looked terrible. But the animatronic themselves were yeah. pretty good. When he's walking and stuff, I thought that looked great. But the bear, for some reason, you, you see him barely moving. Barely. <laughs> barely. Yeah. Yeah. Eh. Don't call it. Don't talk to me. You call me a bitch. Um. <laughs> But no, like he's he, like you see his face. I was like, that's some good animatronic. He's like snarling at one point. I was like, all right, it's pretty good. I mean, well, maybe maybe it's only I, I thought that one was better just because the design was better because it was just fucking teddy bear. But every time they did the the close up of the face smiling or whatever, the the new Chucky, I was like, I mean, yeah. it's like it wasn't even scary. I, I like I like Jack Black's character a lot. Oh yeah, I thought that, that too. No. Yeah, I thought that too was Jack. I, I, I thought at first, I thought that first that was him. And I thought, like, oh. I thought, it, I, I, I didn't think it was because I saw him in the trailer. The guy and like looking at him, like that's not, that's definitely not Jack Black. But um, his character but was. I thought, stupid. I thought he, I, it looked like him a lot, and then I was like, maybe it is him. Maybe he has a cameo or something. And then he started talking. I was like, yeah, it's not Jack Black. No. Yeah. Oh, okay, but okay, so like Andy and his dumb Stranger Things friends, which. Fuck, this movie is such a bandwagony piece of shit. Let's have Stranger Things. Let's have Black Mirror. It's going to be fucking successful. Let's just put the child's play name on it. But anyways, the Jack Black character, as we'll call him, like, okay, Andy and his friends, like, take apart the chip that controls Chucky, and they basically kill him. And they throw him in the dump. And then hey, wait, the, wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. Let me go. Yeah, so he was trying to sell it on eBay. Yeah. For, like, for, for, like, his, yeah. and, and, and he, and he bought a battery. Even though it's the outdated model and everyone's, like, throwing them away. Yeah, and, yeah. and, and his families are just <laughs> buying them, like, as if it's, like, oh, this is a thing. Well, he also had to pay for a battery, which I'm assuming costs some money. So he's, he's still taking a loss. Uh, he's not like, taking a loss, but, you know, whatever. And he really worth the he could buy another black but and white to camera fair, to keep on, though. To be fair, yeah, that's true. Maybe that's why. It, it, they should have just made it so that the reason why he wanted it is so, so he can control all of his... Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah like, he that's could also thought. control the... And he yeah. would just sneak it in like, some, some, like, some house like look at some fucking wo- woman naked or something. Yeah, like Aubrey Plaza for some reason. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. And then he's like, I'm going to sell this on eBay. I'm like, why? You're going to get like... I shouldn't say that. Aubrey, Aubrey Plaza is attractive lady. What'd you say about her? Anyway. I, I said, for some reason, he wants to see her naked. <laughs> it's just being a dick. <laughs> and Aubrey Plaza does not sell being a mom. <laughs> Fuck. No, he, they even... Well, she, they made, she, the jo- yeah, they made that joke. Yeah, she's sister. To be fair, though, she's like 35, so I mean... And the kid's like 14, so... I don't know. That's fucking weird what she happened when she was fucking 13. Well, they made the... See, you didn't listen. That, she made, she made the joke about Sweet 16. She was like, she my Sweet 16 was busy. Yeah, because they had to, like, corner themselves in because they realized the fucking actor of the cast don't make fucking sense for a child's well, it does make It does make sense. Oh, it doesn't fucking... He's 35 and she, he's 14, so it does make sense. It doesn't even, act if like, she, even if she was, like... like even, look, even if that is oh, the age, like, that, that, that's, even, that's even later than they explained in the movie. Yeah. Exactly. Fucking Kyle. I yeah. hate this fucking Hey, movie. hey, Kyle, it's okay. You remember the Nightmare on Elm Street remake when they made oh, Freddy? Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I, yeah. That, that movie well, sucked dick. Don't yeah, it will. More poorly made. But, but that's sure. the thing. That, that was Let just me a explain fucking... That was a remake why. almost exactly. Like, it was... A, like, yeah, and I'll give points to them for trying to do something yeah, different, they, but what I they did different was fucking terrible. Well, in your but opinion. the thing with me is... You know, in the, in the Nightmare on Elm Street remake, the, this is a plot thing, where in the original, Freddy was a murderer and he murdered yeah, kids. Now he's, a now, rapist. now he's a pedophile rapist. Yeah. And that was just just shockingly of like poor taste for no fucking yeah. reason. That's like this for me, but like it's times supposed to 10. make you hate him more. So times for some reason, 10. murdering kids is, uh, you know, whatever. That was like that for me for this movie, but like times 10. There's like 10 fucking things with that. Yeah. God. Damn, I don't know. I fucking hated this. Movie. Anyway, so let's talk about more. Right. I want to talk about. I want to talk. Done, about. I'm, I'm done talking about this movie. Okay. Well, I like Chucky. No, and he was he wasn't fucking. Not only did they like try to not make him scary, like purposely not make him scary, but the reason why he's evil because he got influenced and because uh, the safety permissions were off, like as if they were built in from the first place so he could go fucking evil. Oh, I'm just going to turn that well, off. I, I, like the the concept, I like the concept so, where the guy was like, you're going to finish so. this and then you're going to leave. It's like, well, why don't you just leave? <laughs> yeah, right? No, I'm going to make sure this one doll... And then he, and then he killed himself. 
Yeah, that because uh, they they had that shot of like two just random workers smoking. I'm like, he's gonna jump up there <laughs> because they're showing the car in the background. I'm like, okay, <laughs> go ahead, do it. I, I don't know. The, I, the that beginning was it. so dumbass that it was kind of funny to me. Yeah, it was kind of funny. I mean, it, it's nowhere near as good as the beginning of the first movie. I, I'll, where you see Chucky being built or whatever, and then he like doesn't it do like the. No, wait, no, that's not the beginning. That's of, the second one. That's the second one, I'm sorry. The that beginning of the first one either. is him, like, ch- running away from the cops and he gets shot. Yeah, in the, the store. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I mean, you got the detective character. He's completely different. You got the mom. She's completely different. Andy's completely different. He's he's much older. Um, So, I mean, you have Did they pick a Andy the, just to match yeah. Toy Story some more? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> to be fair, called in the original. Original. Child, yeah, that's what his name is in the original. Oh, so, it. technically, if anything, Toy Story ripped off. Child's play. That child's play is like our time to fucking fight back. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I mean, they all the characters were there. I, I, I don't know, but it, it it was different enough where I, I I enjoyed it. I didn't hate it. Uh, I like I like the Chucky stuff where he's like Chucky's like he doesn't understand. Like, oh well, I just wanted to fucking play, bro. Yeah, I saw you laughing at the guy with the his face gets peeled off, so I peeled off that guy's face and put it on a watermelon for some reason. <laughs> and, then, and then they're carrying and it every time they and show just, the fucking face. Oh, uh, like, that was. <laughs> And it's everyone like, like I hope, I hope this isn't fragile. God, it was like, a, it was like a modern SNL sketch. Just fucking. I, thought, oh. I, I like that. I oh, like, my boyfriend said. <laughs> oh no, I mean, it was like a Ghostbusters 2016 joke. No. Went on for like two fucking what? minutes. Oh, here's his head. Oh, it was, oh, it what's a, that head? A, what's that thing you got there? Oh, nothing. Oh, okay. The, Can I see it? No, I won't let you see it. It's like, oh, then what is it? Let me see. Oh, no, it's a gift for this old black grandma. Oh, okay, let's go bring it to her. Oh, we're going to bring it to her. Oh, hey, here's this thing. Oh, what is it? Oh, no, I don't know what it is. Oh, it's for my birthday. Oh, okay, I guess we'll open it on your birthday. Oh, oh later scene. Oh, oh, it's your, almost your birthday. Should we look at it? No. Oh, I'm going to put it on the table. Oh, there's a cop right there. Oh, he's going to, he's going to, like, poke at it. Oh, there's a scene. Oh, maybe he might find out it's the head of the fucking boyfriend that he's also investigating right now no god damn uh, you made that more funny than it actually was <laughs> no it fucking wasn't funny no, but it wasn't it was, fucking funny no, at listen, all listen you're making it sound like there was like it was a ghostbusters joke that has no reason for it being was like there. my cat when there was, was this the, them trying to get rid of the face was so it doesn't fucking they, they don't think fucking they went to go murder the fucking <laughs> Because no one's going to believe uh, the doll went over there and cut his fucking face off, of course. Yeah, yeah, it's, no, not, it's not it a is. Ghostbusters joke. Like, remember in 2016, Ghostbusters was like, oh, man, I don't have any uh, fucking, uh, what are they called, um, the, 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 the soup, wontons. There's no wontons in my soup. That has nothing to do with the story. Yeah. This at least did. And it, and it, was a, it, it wasn't a running thing, but it was like a part of the plot. He had to go in there, get it, and stuff. And it so it had something to do with the plot. It was just nothing. some joke that that was it. Yeah, it fucking was. And was I like thought it was, more, it was morbid and funny, because it was so it was fucked up. It was funny. It was, it, was pretty, fucking, it was pretty morbid, yeah. Yeah, it was really morbid. And I, I don't know, like, I... It was. It was. You won't almost, see that in a Conjuring movie. It That's was. What I'm it was almost in the realm of like Shaft or Mirror. It was like it was a movie. I I, I watched it. I don't know. I really. Cool. I liked it. The only thing I, I didn't like is the conclusion. It, it felt very like okay. It was like yeah, it was like let's wrap this up. shit up. We used the rest of our ten million dollar budget. Let's go. <laughs> of course, they just set up a sequel. Of course. I mean. I don't know. It was all right. Uh, I, 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 I had a good hey, time. Kyle, Kyle if it, this will make you feel better. I don't think there's going to be there's going to be. Yeah, something. good. Thank God. I it didn't it didn't bomb, but it didn't do that great. So. More than any movie in recent memory. And actually, 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 you know what's funny? I heard an article that said it actually did better than the first movie. Because the first movie came out fucking thirty years ago, and no one. And no, no uh, I'm talking for adjusted for inflation though. So that means more people saw this movie. This no one week. fucking uh, people thought, oh, this is creepy. I shouldn't bring my kids to this. Like it, it wasn't actually, it got a better cinema score too. It wasn't established. Fucking, I don't give a fuck. And actually, the sequel is happening. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, actually, it's out tomorrow. And also the Don Mancini versus. And also, Child's Play wasn't fucking, uh, you know, established yet. And fucking hell. Yeah, they, they but Killer all over. Dolls were a big thing back in the. No one fucking wasn't. Yeah, it was the beginning of Killer Dolls. Or- but Puppet Master was after, and it was a DVD. It was a VHS movie. No. Yeah, it was. It didn't fucking go to theaters anyways. Uh, uh, you never saw the movie Dolls, obviously. That came out after Dolls. two. All right, we done. Jesus Christ. Oh yeah. Uh, I, fucking. Uh, so. How about uh, Toy Story? Yeah. All right. Oh, please. 
Uh, this no, is what we should was, talk. That was our talk on. on I on, like child's play. I what fucking I, I had a good time in the past five years. In the past five years, I have not hated a movie. I think I think much. that's a little far. If you didn't like it, I get it. But saying it's one of the movies you've ever seen, I didn't it. even say worst movie. I just hated it. Like this just movie, like like uh, the thing is one of my favorite movies ever. The the John Carpenter one. I didn't look at the 2011 one and go, well, that's the fucking. I'm offended. They fucking dishonored me. <laughs> and I'm gonna go fight them. You know, they, they, they didn't fight fuck. Them. Up the movie though they did they just oh, yeah, did they, the did. Did again. No, they didn't. Dude, they took the movie all the practice just a practice. bad movie no listen listen no 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 they uh, explained things that did not need to be explained like how that axe get on the wall and they push in on the axe like okay we don't even fucking know any of this shit we don't need to know what happened to the norwegian base especially since half the people in this norwegian base i guess are, are american for some reason okay um and we didn't need to see these shitty, terrible special effects when they had great practical effects that they were used in the movie that were great from what I heard, but the studio was like, no, we need to have CG because that's what kids like nowadays. That's what yeah. kids are going to go sneak in this movie. This already yeah. movie will see it because it has CG. And guess what? That movie fucking sucked ass too. Yeah, that movie bombed, and this one didn't. So. And this one has a 60% Ron Smith. Yeah, fuck them. Fuck the these thing. stupid critics. I didn't hate the Twilight I thing. I fucking but... hate Black Mirror so much, and it's just, like, infecting everything into this fucking yeah, meandering, I me- I mediocre... I don't see how it's really... I mean, it didn't really... The whole There's thing no is about how technology is going to fucking... It was not the whole thing! What is? That was the only... There was a beginning where Aubrey Plaza's like, go out and have fun. That was it. And like, yeah. fucking... Everything else was just like, oh, let's have a horror movie. I didn't... I didn't think- Buddy, like it's a fucking iPhone thing, and then it controls uh, controls all the implies. Okay, yeah, I get that, but it didn't yeah, matter that part. The, the, the part, part was that there was a killer doll. Don't rub your fucking nose. Um. Yeah, so Chucky's also made by this big like conglomerate factory. It or shows up company. like twice in the fucking movie. <laughs> like, come on. Uh, it's it's not like it's Chuck not like they show up every five every seconds. Like, Chucky. oh, hey, that, oh, hey, that, that, that grandma death was pretty funny though. No, it wasn't. Oh, I'm gonna drive an Uber. I'm gonna like, force an Uber to kill her. Fucking terrible. So fucking terrible. Things Grandma in doing donuts in the parking lot. No. <laughs> oh, and then, and then the they turn off the ba- they turn off the the, the uh, airbag and they take off yeah. the seatbelt. It's funny. Yeah, dude, it's so fucking funny. Just well, I don't the- I don't I don't get the seatbelt thing. That that doesn't make any sense to me. Also, turning off an airbag. <laughs> like, yeah, maximum hurt. <laughs> Why would you ever like, hey, uh, car, I want to turn off the airbag. And then your buddy's like, okay. And he turns it off or whatever. Why the fuck would that ever be a fucking option? The seatbelt doesn't make any sense because it's just a little thing that snip, snaps in. It's not really a machine. I mean, I guess it is. But it's not like an electrical machine. Anyway, whatever. Anything else? Uh, I really like the scene where uh, the guy's face is on the watermelon. <laughs> I really like that. <laughs> <laughs> he walks oh. by it. He wakes up, walks by it. <laughs> the camera just zooms in on it, and then Andy just runs. What the fuck? <laughs> like, how did he, how did he not notice that immediately? He's just like, oh yeah, this is a watermelon with the face on it. Okay. Oh yeah, what? And, his, and his boyfriend's a cheating husband for some reason. Like, okay. Well, so so when Chucky so died, I feel good about. Yeah, it was him. weird. Everybody Chucky was killing, was except the pressure? except the cat. But even the cat, you saw him like be kind of shitty to the, the kid. Grandma was all so, right. Like, yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I was gonna say. Like the fucking the 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 fat dude that looks like Jack Black and um the cat. Even the cat like clawed the kids. So you're like, okay, I mean, he was kind of a shitty cat, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. He's a cat. Whatever. All cats suck. Anyway, don't fucking at me. And uh, then the the grandma. I was like, well, she's not even a grandma. She's just a mom. In the original is just regular ass people. Those are the only people who died. Like they didn't do anything wrong. I know. I get it. I mean, no. the, grandma, the grandma didn't do anything wrong. She just wanted to go bingo. And her friends were there, and the friends got to watch her die. <laughs> that uh, sucked. Why does Chucky care about killing these people? Why did, why did she die? He wants to be his only friend. Why does he want to be so creative with his kills as if he's being watched by an audience? No, the, the face it's makes sense because he saw him. in Texas Chainsaw 2 that they they were really laughing their ass off. Okay, at again, the why he kills okay. the boyfriend. Okay. Okay. All right. So the second one is the Jack and Black guy. Buck. Jack Black guy says, like, yeah, for bringing him back to life, yeah. Well, Jack Black guy, well, he already has the thought in his head that was like, I need to kill people because uh, that's funny. I'm gonna kill that's people. what people, yeah, that's that's what people so like. Funny. Yeah, funny. Jesus. It's Christ. pretty funny in the movie. Yeah, audience pandering movie. Thank you for clarifying it. 
it's audience and every fucking horror movie at this point is audience pan- pandering. I'm sorry. Like you think a, a new child's play movie in a theater, I don't want a new child's play. I don't want a well, why new did you why play. did you go into this expecting it? Oh, it's definitely going to be like it's not they tried to do something at all. different. And I was like, okay, I don't really know where they this is going. I don't think I really different. like it. And, and it was terrible. And it was terrible. What they did different was just don't fucking Don't say it like awful. it's a fucking fact. Oh, my God. And it was oh awful for God. fucking me. Obviously, <laughs> I hate when, when I fucking everybody say, says things like it's a fact. Yeah, I really say it's a fact. This movie you is a fact. It's terrible. It's terrible. Yeah, it's terrible it for is fucking terrible. me. When I say something, it's my own fucking Wait. opinion. I shouldn't have to say this is my opinion every single but fucking I'm saying, time. I'm saying I'm a why fucking I like grown this. Up. I know it's terrible. Fan. So I'm just like, yeah, because there's nothing I fucking liked about this fucking movie. Yeah, you didn't like, but I was talking about what I liked. Oh, and then you, had to, you had to float your fucking head in, like, hey. <laughs> God damn. I like Chucky. We fucking suck dick. I'm like, well, yeah, that fucking. I like them. I'm oh, recording. Yeah, get the fuck out. Get out. Yeah, close the door. What's up, man? <laughs> so, yeah, hey, hey Kyle, what did you think of Child's Play? <laughs> yeah, the other guy, what did you think of Child's Play? Yeah, get out. Get out. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, why, is your, why is your sound not working, Kyle? I wanted to hear you talk What's about up? it. Get out. <laughs> what, close else, the door. what else do you think about Child's Play? <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, so, uh, so what, what other benefit? What other good things were happening with it? I'll talk. I'll talk about. Well, I can finally talk about the good things without getting interrupted. Uh, <laughs> it, it was better than the original. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Uh, it was the best child's play. Okay. Shit. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. You might come back. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, I, I I enjoyed. It. it was a fun movie. I don't care. It was ninety minutes. It was quick and easy. Uh, it was a nice little fun horror movie right before I went to go see Toy Story again. I, I give a fuck. Whatever. Uh, another shitty, terrible killer doll movie will come out next week and we'll forget about this one. Because Annabelle comes out. I'm sure so. it's going to be stuck ass. You know, Annabelle so. might be amazing. I don't give a fuck. That doesn't change my opinion that I enjoyed this one. So, whatever. Good for you. Good for See? Yeah, no. I was just saying I enjoyed it. Good for you. Look good. No, that was sarcastic. Yeah, of course <laughs> it was because I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> At least you admits it. All right, well, I loved it, and if you didn't like it, obviously you're wrong. Anyway, let's go on to Toys. Man, I hate that movie. Toys are alive, three or right. please. Okay. I keep trying to do it, and then you keep wanting to talk about this. Again. No, no, no. Well, I told you this should have been the fucking second thing that we talked about. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, major whiplash alert. All right, so I see Toy Story four immediately after Child's Play. The first trailer I. See when I go to Toy Story 4 is Trolls 2, the Trolls trailer. And I was like, dude, breath of fucking fresh air, dude. <laughs> Holy fuck. Wait, what? It's good to not see something that makes me want to fucking... Oh, it's a toy that isn't evil. I get it, because the trolls are toys, too. No, like, I, I, legit- about, I didn't even think about that. A lot of toys I, legit- I legitimately was like, you know, this doesn't look that bad. I no, I mean, they were singing, like, a, a fun version of uh, the Darkness song, Hello, Darkness, my old friend. I heard the first one's fine. I don't know. I, I, I don't care either. Just to show how, <laughs> how low the bar had gotten at that point. Yeah. At that, that hey, night. You, you like the singing, dan- the dancing uh, trolls. Cool. Good for you. All right, Toy Story 4. Right, you know what troll? You can't not troll. I'm sorry. You know what movie trailer? I'm getting fucking sick of seeing. Can I just say this before we get into positivity? Sure. Uh, because we're negative right now. Still, uh, I I think the movie looks fun, but I keep seeing the fucking trailer for Crawl every movie. You know that movie, right? Have you seen the trailer for that, Adrian? I, don't think I have. It's the alligator movie where there's a hurricane and then everybody gets trapped in their houses, uh, and then alligators for swarm reason, in. You, you always it looks just good. the trailers. I I just don't see. I don't know. Uh, maybe my, I guess my area, I guess, just like <laughs> shitty, terrible things. So they keep showing either that or they don't like that stuff. That's why they keep showing the trailer. Wait, like, I'm sorry. What trailer? What crawl. trailer was this? The crawl, the Sam Raimi. Oh, this one, which looks yeah. good. Actually, I'm, I'm excited, excited for that. I'm excited, but I, I, I'm not even kidding. I've seen the trailer at least a dozen times. Oh, wow. And the trailer is only like, what, a month and a half old at this point. So I'm just like, fucking, for real, stop showing. I saw it before Child's Play. I saw it before Anna. Luckily, I didn't see it before Toy Story 4. Oh. That would have be weird. That would have been weird. Oh. But um, directed by the Hills Have Eyes guy. And the Piranha re- 3D. By the way, for- Hills Have Eyes, good remake, in my opinion. Right, yeah, not, right not Child's Play. The original Hills Have Eyes is pretty shitty. You know? Toy Story. Uh, 
It's fun. Though. Toy Story. Toy Story 4. God damn. Did the I best love this movie of the movie. year. Did I love this fucking movie? Oh yeah. Uh, so, uh, can we? Or should we go into impressions first? No, yes, before actually, we no no before we get into impressions, can we get a running tally of how many times you either teared up or cried throughout the movie? Okay, well, no, no I ain't a bitch. That 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 Me ties too. into sure question. Kyle's about to say ten. No, it ties into the the theater <laughs> uh, experience I, I had. Adrian almost had a heart attack. I thought you were gonna dab. Can we can we go into the theater experience <laughs> real? Real quick. So let's let's do positivity now because I'm like full of negativity right now. Even though know, you like the last movie. I know, but I was you your negativity fucking got into my yeah. Brain. You you should have known that. I you should. I know that. that's why I said I didn't want it to be the second thing we talked about. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be hard. Uh, I knew it. Okay, fine. Man, then, if let, let, was here, you would have shit all over you. I don't give a motherfucker. I was just saying that I liked it. I think you were being ridiculous. No. I think I was pretty fair. Sure. Even though you call me, a you bitch. Agree. Most he people... called me. He called me a bitch. Remember that? Uh, <laughs> and he, and he, he was being really, really angry with me. I didn't love the movie. I just I liked it. It was fine. I'm not gonna remember. I'm not gonna fucking buy figurines of the new Chucky. Man, like, put in my you, Kyle, you keep wanting to talk about <laughs> Child's Play. Let's move on. I want to talk about. Yeah, Toy Story stop, yeah, stop talking about Child's Play. Jack, all right, let's go into just impressions. I just like the new the Chucky. Movie. That's all I'm saying. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah. Impressions no. of the movie. Let's go. Go ahead, Kyle. You, yeah, you first. Okay, all right, all right. So, Toy Story, the first three movies mean so much to me. I fucking grew up on them, saw Toy Story 3 in the theater. Of course, I fucking cried at the end, of course. They mean a lot They mean a lot to me. And so, it was like 2014 when John Lasseter, yikes, uh, announced uh, he was actually going to do Toy Story 4 and it was about getting Bo Peep back. I was like, Come on. I was okay with that when I heard it, but I was like, why do we care about I, Bo I felt like, yo, Bo Peep got the shaft in Toy Story 3. RC like, got the shaft. Fuck out of here. Anyway, hell yeah. Uh, Sam Jackson walked in. <laughs> Anyways, since the, the the announcement of this, I, I've just been, I don't, I don't fucking know, man. I see I, a this, trailer. This wasn't even, I mentioned it last time, this wasn't even in my top five most anticipated this year because I was like, I don't think I'm, I want this. It, I was worried until I fucking sat down and it started because oh, it's you, saw that, you saw that so rain. You were I, like, God damn. No, I don't even care about the rain. Just the, <laughs> yo, the emotions, bro. Like oh, okay. RC almost dying. And right. then spoilers, by the way. Um, That's the first fucking second of the movie. <laughs> hey, I don't want to spoil it though. Cause everybody's like, RC's in it. Anyways. <laughs> Only time you see RC. And then I think, yeah. Uh, we we saw Forky, which I was like, okay, all right, we'll Forky see about him. I was interested. I was like, okay. Uh, Jordan Peele and Michael Keegan Key, like I love them, but like kind Keegan of weird. Michael. Keegan Michael Key. Okay. Keegan Michael Key. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I was like, okay, are they just gonna keep doing their shtick? Because there's there's a few like spots where they're just doing yeah. their shtick. The one part fun. I didn't. Yeah, the one part I didn't like was when they were. This is the only part of the movie I didn't like. Is when. Oh, really? The, no, it was like literally ten seconds of the movie. So uh, it was just them like they were singing at one point after like uh, Woody said like I have a human you can come with us and they, I don't even remember what they're saying but they were being really annoying for about ten seconds. I was like oh because they really wanted to have like an owner right yeah but they were like singing so it was like really loud and like just shush. Right, that was literally the only negative I have for the entire okay, movie. Okay, anyways. For 10 seconds, I was slightly annoyed by the movie. In the theater, I was very annoyed, but we'll get to that later. Okay, uh, anyway, so the movie starts. Holy fuck, this movie looks um, just visually, like, out of the fucking ballpark. Holy fuck. But it's yeah. Pixar. I expect that. Very quickly into the movie, it fucking hooked me, and I was like, fuck, dude. Dude, man. Are we really going to have four perfect Toy Story movies? And at one certain point, which... God damn, man. Just thinking about it fucking chokes me up when, uh, so, you know, Forky's this, this new guy, uh, made by Bonnie, and I fucking love Forky so fucking yeah, much. Yeah, me too. I love him. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I really, you uh, know, here's, I'm gonna interrupt you really quick. I'm really upset when Disneyland before Toy Story 4, because had I gone afterwards, I would have probably bought some. Oh, I would have bought fucking Forky. I would have bought, bought, bought that Forky thing. plush, dude. And, and I was dude, I went, to a, I went to a convention a couple days ago, and I saw a Forky Funko Pop, and I was like, oh my god, I need to buy it right now. And it, it, I asked how much, he was like, 25 bucks. I was like, what? And now you totally would buy it. I put it down. No, I okay. saw, I, that was after I saw Oh, okay. 
Anyways, I, I, I knew I could get it anywhere else. I didn't know they released a Funko Pop. Though. Anyways, I was joking to Adrian when we were at Disneyland. I was like, these fork and forky things. Just make your own forky. Yeah. Dude, fucking now after seeing it, I, I, I honestly would have bought something at Disneyland. I would have bought the forky fucking... 100%. Forky is so fucking cool. But anyways, the scene... Okay, so... I don't really want to jump into spoilers, but at some point, Bo Peep asks Woody why he's trying to say Forky, because that's, like, the main plot of the movie. And Bo Peep's like, why do you care about this Forky guy? Just move on or whatever. And Woody's like, because it's the only thing I have. I fucking choked it's up only, so It's the only thing bad. I have left to do or something. It's the only thing I, ha- I have like, left. It's the only thing yeah. I have left. Yeah. And it just felt like, It was fuck, that, dude. and there was the, uh... The, Holy we're, we're shit. We're going to talk about spoilers, it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, There was, that, and there was uh, the part where he's, he, he just keeps name dropping Andy on accident. Yeah, oh, yeah. When he's talking oh. to Porky when they're walking on the side of the road. Yeah, by the way, I love that part. Memories. I yeah. love that part ah, too. Yeah. Porky learns how to like walk. He's like, Psh. <laughs> and then he's yeah, like, okay. And and it connected with me too, not just because it's like I've fucking grown up with Woody for so long, and he's always been like the leader and everything. Yeah. And just for him to say this is like the only thing I've left, Bonnie. I I, I don't really care about Bonnie or anything. I I it eventually. Well, he I'm does, gonna, but he does, but you know he, he does, does, but you know Bonnie doesn't, he doesn't give a shit have about a, him. He doesn't have a every place time, in Bonnie's heart. Yeah, every time like he's with Forky and Bonnie's there, Bonnie's like Forky, Forky? and she's like Forky. throws fucking Woody on the ground, which yeah, I'm like, yeah. if I was like if I, if I just knew that as Andy, I'd be like, what the fuck, man? Like that sentimental moment at the end of Toy Story three where we're like, hey man, he's the best. Make sure and, you take care of him, and you just throw him on the ground. I'm gonna beat you up. Yeah, that's that's like <laughs> set up, that's set up immediately when we get into Bonnie's room where she like gets all the toys to play with them except Woody. Yeah, like Woody, all like these and, and a bunch things. of yeah preschool things. Like, like and it's funny they had some cameos there. Like Betty White was one of the voices. Oh, yeah. uh, Mel Brooks was one of them. <laughs> uh, uh, I forgot who else. Uh, some other older actors. Anyway. Um, Anyways, uh, this movie very quickly hit an emotional spot and it totally deserves its existence. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. Jesus, it might, it's like my second favorite Toy Story. Actually, I like. I, I haven't, I haven't watched. I, I think I need to watch three again because I need. I need I, three is my favorite one. Dude, well, because here's here's the divisive thing about this movie. Um, and we'll still talk about impression in a second. Um, I can see, and I, I already know. Like my mom just watched it. She didn't like it as much because it definitely didn't focus on all the the, the toys. Which is uh, that, I, that's, I get that. No, 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 really no, 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 and that that's fine. Like that that that's yeah. where it's divisive because. A lot of people like us are like, yo, I'm totally down for a Woody just like arc, you know, that that's that's great. Some people definitely it's just it's still the whole group, you know, it's still like we had that but that but but to us uh, too. That arc finished, you know, that arc is done. Yeah. So we, the, we the whole that. Andy the whole Andy saga is like done and now they exist as, you know, like our friends, but they don't, you know, just need to have the screen time and because they focused on Woody and they did something different with that, I fucking love that. And they really. Well, I can they, see why it could be divisive, though. I guess, but for I, I me, don't like, really. I mean, I get it, but they're not the main character. Why? Why? Like, what? What purpose would they have in the story other than what they already have? What is Rex gonna do? <laughs> like, and no, they, no, they no, do no, have... no, no, no. It, 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 but no, I, I, I again, I get. I, you get it. Yeah, story wise, yeah. we understand. The only thing I was the upset about is like, want to watch Toy Story. It's still their whole and, thing, you know. It's still. I get. So, I get why. The only thing I was upset about is the aliens didn't do shit. They showed up, like, uh, in the beginning, and they are just there. I'm like, they were even in a teaser. I was like, come on. <laughs> they literally um, did nothing. They, they, dude, t- the aliens saved them from fucking death in Toy Story but, but 3. They're not going to do it again, you know? I, like, I know, but I just do. wanted them to say but, at least dude, one okay, word. Okay. They so, didn't say so, anything. So, wait, before we start getting into it, because I want to... So, your, that was your impressions. Chris, your impressions. Well, I don't know. Oh, I just want to. I just want to wrap it up. Okay. Well, c- before we start jumping into it, because we're we're really getting into like more. Oh, shit, yeah, all right. Yeah. No, I loved it. All right. Cool. Chris. Yeah, good. Uh, uh, it sucked. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. I mean, it's my favorite movie of the year, and I even put on Facebook and Twitter. It's gonna be really hard to beat this because I can't. Like, you better wait for Hobbs and Shaw, brother. Uh, yeah, dude. I'm gonna I'm gonna cry at least ten times. That movie. Dude, so at my at my AMC they sell a. Uh, Oh my god! A, don't even. A giant, oh my god! A giant pretzel, oh like I think like a one and a half pound pretzel. Is it called the Rock Pretzel or no, something? No, but I'm like I'm eyeing it. I'm like when I see Hobbs and Shaw, I'm gonna buy that thing. 
Oh, okay. I thought it was like named after. Oh like, yeah, dude. That's what you do. Get like a super large soda too, dude. Yeah, the Hogs pretzel. Like, dude, that's gonna be so fan. fucking fun. I'm oh, making yeah. like an event out of Hogs. I hope that movie's four and a half hours long. Uh, yeah, that, I fucking hope. Uh, so, dude. I honestly fucking hope so. It's a two-parter. Because <laughs> yeah, how, 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 how long? How long? Yeah, there's Hogs and then. <laughs> Yeah. Oh <laughs> my god, dude. No, so how long how long are our Fast Furious movies? You know? A little over two hours. Yeah, yeah, I think the last one was about two hours twenty. Yeah, so, it was pretty long. So the uh, yeah, girl, was... the girl I'm, I'm seeing, we're we're at the theater, right? And I was like, I'm eyeing that fucking pretzel for Hobbs and Shaw. She's like, Why? I was like, It's action packed. We like two and a half hours long. She was like, It's two and a half hours. I hope. I, I was like, I say, I hope. Oh. <laughs> I hope. I hope, because man, I'm ready, dude. Damn, yeah. dude. Um, hope longer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so okay, so you liked it, uh, dude? Yeah, oh, no, I love. It. Hey, I loved it, bro. Um, I would say I like. That's my favorite movie this year. You know, it's gonna be hard to top it. I I, I loved it. Like I, I love all Toy Story. Um, I think in my on my pinnacle of Pixar movies, I need to rewatch the Toy Stories to see where it lands. But also, Coco just hits such a fucking extreme high for me. Oh yeah, I was talking about that, the Toy Story movie. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Is like to me, it 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 Pixar's on a roll with those two back to back. Right. But I think Coco left such a fucking huge, just fucking, uh, like, just a huge hurdle for Toy Story 4. I'm going to watch it again. I think I'm going to like it more the second sure. time, just because I, 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 I had the kids in the Me, audience, too. Sure. Oh, um, it, wasn't, it wasn't as bad as you guys, but God I definitely had damn. some of the kids in there. Um, oh, man. Jesus but, Christ. But dude, I, like, I was, uh, mine was, like, one of those horror movies I see, except for with little, like, five, <laughs> six kids. Dude, PTSD, um, man. But no, I, I loved it. So, impressions, I, I'm going to start just saying this. Is so they fuck with me too. I hate people keep fucking with me this time. I don't know what it is that people fucking with me. Uh, so that, that first scene yeah. where they showed RC in the uh, yeah, in yeah, the, in the, in the gutter. gutter. I was telling Chris this, Kyle. So they're talking about that that scene. They they didn't know who to put in the gutter. They were gonna originally put one of the aliens in there because they they were easily more identifiable. But they're like, oh yeah, RC wasn't in Toy Story three, so we put him in there. People are gonna think this is how he died, and so literally it felt like it, 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 it felt like Endgame at the beginning, where first scene you see RC out there. I was like, oh fuck, no, don't fuck, don't fuck with me. Oh, <laughs> not, not RC, man, not RC. <laughs> I'm still upset that I didn't see RC. He's my favorite. He's my hundred. I, he's my number one toy in Toy when Story. When I was a kid, he was my favorite. Yeah, I, I had it. RC. I had I, one of the RC remote control. Yeah, toys. no, I walked out of the theater. I swear to God, I was looking. I was like, I just need to fucking buy an RC, dude. I just I fucking <laughs> miss RC so much. I used to have an RC. RC as a Dude, kid. yeah, we, I think we, we all did. Actual. Everyone loved, yeah. <laughs> but RC was my favorite, especially at Toy Story One when fucking RC just hauling fucking. He, he was fat. He was Fast and Furious for Fast and Furious. You know, he was just fucking kicking it. Yeah, oh, fucking love RC, dude. And then they had him just, like, struggling to get out there. I'm like, you fucking save him, Woody. <laughs> I swear to God. And one. then the army man come out and starts yeah, taking him along. Oh, I know, it was, the, fuck... it was the monkey. It was the monkey. Oh, though. yeah, the monkey, yeah. Oh, dude, yeah. it was such a fucking awesome intro. What a way yeah. to fucking gut punch you back into, like, hey, remember, you guys care about these fuckers. Right, yeah. exactly. It, it was a good way and to I, do I'm a flashback. So glad, I'm so glad they brought Bo Peep back, because, like, that was the whole thing, like, why they didn't bring Bo Peep back? She's just gone. Well, the, the thing with me was I didn't care too much in Toy Story 3, because she, like, no, they, okay. they, 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 had, they had a sound it, reason it, why no. they didn't have her, which made no, sense in Toy to Story. Me. Yeah, in no. Toy Story 3, they mention it in the movie that is just like, yeah, I mean, we, we've been through we a lot, you know, we've lost some people, and someone says Bo Peep is like, oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, Bo they Peep. say that, and they're like, yeah, yeah, well, I mean, ceramics, you know. Yeah. Oh, was it that, or was it an interview, I think I heard? In the, in the, it's probably an interview. Interview, someone uh, said, why not? And they're like, well, it was, she's ceramic, there's not much she's made to do porcelain, with that. made porcelain, yeah. Or whatever, yeah. Yeah, but, uh, you know, yeah, she, but, uh my thing was, one. like, she was originally, shit, she, wasn't, dude. she wasn't even a character, like, she, 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 uh, yeah, she no, that's, I was saying this the other day, wait, Adrian, like, uh, if you rewatch the Toy Story 1 and 2, what the fuck uh, is she all she does every time she's on screen is like Woody, and they just fucking Woody. Out on screen. And, and, and then for every reason, Toy Story 4, like, let's just give her an I'm ass. Just like, <laughs> well, 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 to be fair, I think, to be fair, I think that ass was always there, but she never took off the thing. So, you never saw it. They had Dummy. a fucking shot where she was, like, bending over for, like, uh, like it was, like, a quarter second too long. Yeah. What was with Pixar and Dummy? It, it was about ten seconds too short. Yeah, say, someone, someone at Pixar worked on, uh... This on, is uh, incredible? Yeah, on Miss Incredible. They're like, all right, let's, let's, oh, oh. let's, let's work on Bo Peep now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Elastic Girl? Yeah, Elastic Girl, there you go. Hell yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, Chris already had right. a good time just fucking being that creeper in the back. Hell yeah, man! <laughs> it's just a shame her voice sounds like she's like a sixty-year-old smoking mom, but still um, hot. 
I'm not talking about a. There's a lot. There, talk- so th- this movie is very self-contained. Uh, definitely, mm-hmm. like, as an overarching plot, doesn't really go very places. Small. It's but very small. Oh, yeah. character development is like, like oh, yeah. break back. Like Woody they're just they're just going in on that. Um, yeah. It makes sense. Woody too, but, for even the new characters, you know, like it, Gabby. It, may, Gabby. It, it makes sense because at first I didn't. I never believed it when I was thinking about it. But like, like you know what? If we we would never have done this if we didn't have a good story for it. And it was hard to think that because I'm like, I don't know how you could talk that, but you know, you could tell someone's like, we need to just like let Woody go and do something like that. And I'm like, yeah. I figured like if it's if they're gonna get emotional, it would be like Woody. So something happens to Woody. Something happens to somebody or whatever. It's like. And Woody being like, just like, all right, bye. <laughs> like, yeah, dude, that shot where he just like stand there and he just, you know he's not gonna, like we already had an idea he wasn't gonna go. Yeah, it, but when you yeah. know it's not gonna. But happen. then Buzz says like she's gonna be all right, and of course everybody in my theater was, was like, what? What does that mean? And then she's like, Bonnie will be all right, and it's just like, oh shit, shit, the tears <laughs> coming. <laughs> oh oh shit. fuck! All these six year olds in the theater. Oh fuck! Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's now, what all the, the six year olds were like, oh, and then all the fucking twenty five to thirty year olds were like. Uh, in my second theater, there was a one girl that was a, a little too loud sometimes, but she, she it was fine. And, and every time something really good happened, she would yell, "Yay!" Oh no! Oh, what happened when that happened? That was that was okay. With, uh, yeah, it was every five seconds because everything was amazing. But uh, no, that was fine. I was okay. But in my first theater, I that was like that except. I, not about the movie. They would be talking about something else. That pissed me off. But I couldn't tell anybody to be quiet because I'm not even kidding. It was like the theater was packed. It was 90% of the theater was fucking doing that. Dude, I'm like, well, I'm going to tell his entire shut theater. Up, yeah. Just shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, do it, dude. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, all these <laughs> kids. <laughs> yeah, they all, they all climb up on top of me like Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah. <laughs> there, there, uh, was, there was – this is a side story. There was uh, – in sixth grade basketball, there was this one kid who was like way too fucking tall. Like he hit his growth spurt fucking early, and there was so many kids that would just climb on. <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell? I have a vivid memory of him trying to shoot once. I swear to God, in my memory, it's just him going, "Ooh!" And two kids climbing on it. <laughs> anyway, um, I really want to talk about the new characters. You know what? what? Uh, good on Keanu Reeves, man, fucking killing it this dude, year, dude. You know what's funny is right Keanu when Reeves? in my second, the second theater, because nobody was paying attention to the first one, obviously, because they kept fucking talking to each other. Um, in the second theater, right when Keanu started talking, there was somebody out there was just like Keanu Reeves, and I was like, hell yeah! Immediately, everybody's like, it's Keanu Reeves, hell yeah! That makes You're me happy. Take- <laughs> Can I just say, Keanu Reeves, one of his last things he says is, whoa, and that made me happy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love the backstory for Duke Kaboom. Oh, yeah. Uh, what's his name? The French-Canadian kid that had him? Uh, that Pierre just, or whatever the fuck? No, it wasn't Pierre. That's too obvious. It was like uh, Ra- Raul or something. No, it wasn't Raul either. It was like, God damn it. Okay. He kept yeah, saying I, his name. I lost oh, it. I'll at, it right I now. lost it at uh, Yes, We Canada. Yes, We Canada. <laughs> Which is great. Um, but I just love the whole, like, infomercial. Not the infomercial. It's like the advertisement for the Duke Kaboom toy. Yeah. It's just like, look at him. He could do these awesome things. And it's just like a real toy where it's just like, oh, that thing's cool. And then you get it. It's, it's so everything. Shit. Every a thing <laughs> that all of us have been through. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I mean, for him to be, like, a toy that didn't live up to expectations, like, yeah. it, it kind of reminds me of uh, Buzz from the first movie. Except oh, yeah, yeah. it's he's not disappointing himself. Right. It's someone else being disappointed. Now, in now, the only thing I did have an issue with is I feel like Buzz got, like, that weird treatment that sometimes characters get where they just become very dumb. Flanderization. Yeah, I mean, he's always been kind of, not dumb, but he's uh, always been, like, yeah, not, but there was he doesn't some, really understand things. Yeah, he's, but there, was, there face, was something that, that, like, there was some weird, like, even though this wasn't even a big time gap, it just felt weird. It was, like... The, the self-conscious thing? Yeah, like, the, it, uh, it, was, the inner it was voice. funny. Like, I'm not saying it wasn't funny, but I'm just saying, like, there was it was something I was like, I don't remember him being this dumb. The it's first, dude, like the first kid. one is, lit- okay, Woody's literally screaming at him in the first movie. He's a toy, and there's so many signs to say that he is, but he just, he's ignorant. Yeah, but, but, but I mean, that was, like, in canon, like, 18 years ago. <laughs> yeah, but, like, has he, like, done anything, like... I don't think these toys have deep Sense? philosophical discussions. That, that's, that's the thing with Buzz. Is like Fucking Woody Story, has one! In Toy yeah, Story 2... In this movie, because of Forky. 
Forky's but, never but, happened. For, Forky was on some ex- accidental shit, dude. He's like, I'm trash. Yo, yeah, I'm like, trash. yo, yo he, he was like the chili? perfect millennial. Yeah, he was, he was uh, literally. I'm, tra- that, I'm that literally is, trash. I've never, I've never seen a character <laughs> Pixar make built for the millennials. Literally, okay, like, literally. That, is such, that is such a fucking character for them. I'm trash. Kept trying to kill itself. <laughs> yeah, exactly, oh, yeah. dude. It's like all those those uh, white girls on Twitter. Like that's all Jesus. they do. I'm trash. I'm trash. I'm literally trash. Uh, I don't do anything. You know what? You know what? They're right. But yeah. Forky's great. But Forky's great. I fucking Fuck yeah. love Forky. Forky's no one's awesome. trash. You guys are all good people. Yeah. yeah. Except for the trash ones. You know who you are. Uh, I love I love that scene where you see they keep, Woody keeps throwing Forky up. Forky just waddles back. Hops in the trash and he's just waking up. Yeah. And by the morning, he's, where he's like, fucking throwing him in there. Woody's just uh, fucking dead. <laughs> okay. I, yeah. I, the Woody and Forky relationship is really interesting because it kind of feels like a parent and child sort of thing. Kind of. Like, yeah, like yeah. that with the baby. Like, like it's like him, bit. like, just constantly, like, whining. He doesn't know what he's doing. Like, Forky's, and, like, and kind actually, of like a child. Actually yeah. Holding him yeah, like Forky, a baby yeah, Forky, yeah, Forky, yeah, Forky. Forky's like, carry me. <laughs> it's just like, all right. Well, like, <laughs> yeah, and the thing with, Forky being the last thing he like cares about, I think that kind of like signifies that too. Yeah. yeah. But no, uh, Forky was awesome. I love Forky. Oh, yeah, I love Such it. a simple design, but they do so yeah. much with them. It's classic Pixar shit. I want. Yeah. I want. How do you I, I will say about toys. The one thing I w- I wanted to see out more out of toys. I want to see more Bullseye. I, I really don't want. Like, really, that's the thing. I really me. wish we got. I wish we got uh, cranked up more cameos. Like at least right. at least one yeah, character got yeah. some sort of like pinch of spotlight somewhere. Like uh, you want to see uh, the penguin? I think they. Bullseye. I think they. Which is bullseye? Weezy? I forgot. No. The horse. Yeah, Weezy. The dog. Yeah, you just see Weezy. Weezy was like in Toy Story two. Oh, the dog. Like, That's right. That, like he was like the he was like the the uh, uh, catalyst for the plot of Toy Story 2, but, like, that, that's all thats all I needed. This, this this series is really good for using their characters when they needed to, and the most of the gang didn't need to do that, oh, except yeah, they did to, have a part. I, mean, I don't want it, though. I'm not, I'm not saying I want to see Weezy. I'm just saying that, that could be one. He's just, like, in the background. Hey. But I but, think they mentioned in Toy Story 3 that he's actually gone. So. But the, the, the thing I did like Rest in peace. that they did with the gang <laughs> was, peace, Weezy. was stall for time. Like, they, they had their purpose as a as a big group uh and when it came to stalling for time with the with the parents yeah Bonnie's but some obviously. of them didn't do a lot oh well, sure Which, like, yeah, the, why, the, I, the like, triceratops the rex, did more than what is rex yeah. gonna do i well, I, I mean again the like it, it, i i, did, I get why like mr potato head obviously can't do anything you know no but they did because that was uh, weird that the- he doesn't. I mean, I I like that they still use Don Rickles. Like whenever he he made a noise, it would just be Don Rickles is like like previous. Because that's who voices them, by the way. Um, uh, and because he died, by the way. Uh, but they just use like archival like sounds, I guess. Because he doesn't really talk that much in it, but I think he has a couple of moments where you hear him. Right. You know. Yeah. So, and I like in the credits it still says Don Rickles played him. I'm like the I like that they didn't recast him. I guess they didn't need to because he's know. not dead. Like Jim Varney. Uh, All right. No, Don Rickles is dead. Um. Oh really? Oh. Yeah, Don Rickles. They, at the end of the credits, it says "Rest in peace, Don Rickles." When did he die? And, when did he uh, die? He died in 2017, before they oh. recorded his audio. Um, and uh, oh my God, I forgot the animator's name. I apologize. So an animator passed away too for the movie, and they like gave both of them, you know, credit at the end, which was nice. But um, did you guys stay for the credits? Because there's a nice little scene at the end. At the very yeah. end. With with so Nike very, or whatever. No, not that. Uh, I'm talking about at the, at the oh, end. Oh, I heard about it. I heard about it. Oh, heard about it. It's, it's really good. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to watch it again my next time. I, I don't, I don't want to spoil it, but it's really nice. It, it, I've already it seen it. Resol- it resolves one of the loose hanging oh, uh, plot threads. I don't, I don't you want, want me to? I don't know why we don't say it. I already know well, what it is. They, all right. Kyle, you already know what it is, okay. right? Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't oh, okay. know. It's fine. Uh, yeah, no, I, which, by the so way, that one guy, everyone felt so bad for him in my theater. Yeah. Um. Fuck. Commander Carl or something? Said something, something Carl. Captain Man, Carl? Commander Keen. No, it's something Carl, definitely, because they named him after the voice actor. It, it was Carl Weathers that did the voice. Um, and it, it's just like these three commando guys, like these G.I. Joe kind of guys. One of them's in snow gear, and the other ones are in, like, urban gear or whatever. And, um, like, urban warfare gear. And they're all just like, <laughs> they're all just like, hey, hey, what's up, guys, at one point. And they're all, like, high-fiving each other. But the, the guy in the Arctic, ca- uh, the Arctic gear is just like... And nobody high fives him. He's like twice. And and then and then after that, uh, um, 
Woody says something and they're like, Hey, oh, you have a kid? Awesome. And then they start high five again. And then, and, and he wants to get a high five from Woody. <laughs> Woody just leaves him hanging. He's like, <laughs> and the second time, the first time was funny. The second time, I was like, "Oh!" Yeah. oh and at the end, way end of the credits, finally, my boy, Ke- the nicest person in Hollywood, Keanu Reeves, even yeah. as a toy, <laughs> comes in, give him the high five. He even get, he offers it. He's just like, "Come here." Awesome. Yeah, man. So Keanu cool. Reeves is too. Uh, we need to protect that man. Protect him. Uh, there, there are a lot of new characters, man. I and uh, going you know, back I, to, I don't know uh, why, I just love. Yeah, uh, okay. the uh, Key and Peele, just the, the new, oh, you said new characters. I love that. I just love that they're attached to each other. I don't know why. It's the funniest thing. I know, it's a good, I smart think, decision. I think Kyle wants to say something. So. No, <laughs> I want to talk about, I want to talk about Key and Peele, and yeah. I felt that they did a really good job, and they totally yeah. reserved it when needed. They're fucking oh, I will say, I, I, or they're I didn't like, their idea. Yeah, that's what I was saying. The, I didn't like my theater the first time, but when that happened, they all reacted accordingly. <laughs> the the plush rush? The, yeah. No, it was just Holy like, fuck, that I love was so plush. good. I love it plush rush, and it takes them a whole day to act up. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. Holy so fuck. Good. The first I, just love, I love just the, the – I want to get on a wallpaper, like a poster, of just them looking over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right? That was, yeah, that was some child's play shit right there. That was the actual child's like, play shit right there. Was, yeah. was just like – <laughs> no, it was so, fucking great, dude. It was really good. And I love, I love how like the how Zerk room, got to. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and they tell, they're like, because they, 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 they keep going, they're like, are you guys done yet? No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. And they keep going. Yeah. We, we got, we got one. Uh, you, you didn't like any of them? No, but I love how. Okay, so the reason why they're doing the plush rush thing is to get the key in the antique store, which is like one of the main areas in the movie. But uh, I love how like. Uh, a few scenes later, like, oh, we're back with the key. It's like, oh, how'd you get it? Just leaves the key. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so good. Really? Uh, that, that's 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 a perfect fucking joke. Man, you know, actually, so I have good. to look at my top ten. It might be my favorite comedy of this year too. <laughs> like, just no shit. Up. Yeah. Come well, there, there's a couple of funny moments. I mean, uh, oh, movies out there. Like, get John Wick three at the very end. That's the yeah, best comedy uh, moment. Well, John Wick three had some funny moments. Oh, yeah. they really got your hand, huh? Yeah. Uh, well, the horses. Come on, <laughs> that shit was funny. You know, the book kill, hilarious. Uh, I, I, I think uh, we'll probably we'll talk more about Toy Story 4 next week as well with Casey around, and we're gonna do our sporky thing. So we'll talk more for sure. And we're, yeah. we're, we're definitely missing stuff. And I think I'm gonna oh, watch it again. I, I, I like the, uh, the like the little play school cop girl. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Miss uh, Giggles or whatever, Giggle Pants or something. Dude, that. Yeah. Can we, okay, side note. That cat looks fucking real. Yeah, oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. It reminds me of the dog from the first movie. Uh, Except, like, yeah, it looks shit. so real. <laughs> So that's, real. That, of well, all the things in the original Toy Story, that's the one that has aged the worst. Well, <laughs> is that yeah, the yeah. one? Uh, I, I guess that's we're wrapping up. I'm surprised we haven't talked about the villain. That's why I, I, I mentioned Gabby Gabby earlier. But right, Gabby right. Gabby is probably my favorite villain <laughs> of the entire. That's uh, it, man. Uh, that's TSU, uh, the TSU. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say I that. I hate it. But Sid's just like some jerk ass. Like, okay, Sid. Uh, the uh, the the uh, prospector. Come the on. The prospector. Uh, Stinky Pete. And Stinky. uh, and, and then uh, uh lots of lots of hugs. I, he, I okay. I'll say this. I thought the villain was much. Uh, fuck you. I, I love. Hell yeah. yeah I sure. think lots of lots of Huggins was basically just kind of like doing sure the prospector that. again. You know what I mean? Like, great, dude. I fucking love so him. You know, I like him a lot, but... I, I, I'm so glad... Can we just talk about how Adrian killed Slinky Dog and just put oh him on his head? Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I love that they kind of did a fake out with this, because they made it seem like there's going to be another Lots of Hugging, where it's like, oh... This yeah, is and I didn't, I didn't want that I at all. I love that. I love that she ended up being, like, oh, dude, legit. Dude, legit. It's funny, because, yeah, she was, like, still trying to drug up Woody and take, take his thing. But dude, how, yeah. still, it was like heartbreaking when she was like, "Oh, this is my time," and she gets looked she gets at it thrown. and she's thrown away. Nah, <laughs> like, God I'm like, damn. Fuck. Dude, this, and, then, and then that's it. That the besides Woody leaving at the end, um, that the scene where she sees the girl that's lost, uh, and then she comes up to her and, and consoles her pretty much. I thought that scene was probably the one of the. That was the part where I teared up a lot. And she then, was like, like five oh, minutes right. later, he teared up some yeah. more. Yeah. I was like, God damn, stop. <laughs> I was like, I wish this yeah. was John Wick. Uh, so and, then, and then the final action. line, dude, to infinity and beyond. And beyond. Yeah. Jesus. I'm so glad they ended it right there, too. Like, 
Yeah. They, they had a little, out, they had a little like, like, oh, they, little, they, like scenes afterwards which were hilarious. The key and peel thing. Yeah, no, which turned, like, like giant. Off? Yeah, but oh, shit, that was and they were just taking off all the all the the, the uh, stuffed animals. But um, I, I liked that they ended it right there with the moon because I was like, I wonder if they're gonna go do some little, like, you know, there's always like that final climactic and like some sort of epilogue at the end. But they just ended right there. Or like it yeah. turns into the sun or something and it keeps. Yeah, yeah, yeah it keeps going. But I'm glad they just ended. Well, right Toy there. Story three ended in a perfect place too. With, yeah, with a was... zoom out too, right? I, you know, are you guys ready for? I think it was. It was just like so long Story partner. And it was like. A... No, I don't want Toy Story. No, 5. you know what? Don't say that because you said that for <laughs> Toy Story four. So but I can't. You know I can't, what? I, can't. I trust them. If they if they can do what they did here, where it's like if they have a story that's worth telling, then I'm okay with it. If they, but I just wonder where it's gonna. I wonder. I wonder where it's gonna like. That's take if they way. bring Woody back, fuck them. I don't care what they do. Yeah, well, it could just no. follow Woody at that point. I guess I don't know. But and I, like, I, that, that's that's where I'm at. I'm I'm like with. I'm I'm with Chris because yeah I I was with you Kyle I was like and and you can hear on the past podcast where I'm like I don't I didn't want the movie I was like I we never had Toy Story four I didn't still, either but still, I hope... still to this day actually like even I... after watching this if we never had it I'd be perfectly fine now I do have it I love it and I'm I, and I'm, and I'm gonna take their word for it they will not make another Toy Story unless they have a good story because even sure. even the, the voice actors are like that too everyone that does the voice yep. on there they're like you know what we we and they're like that too they're like you know what we would not have done this. If this wasn't a story that we wanted to bring back, and I I, I agree with them. So I, as long as everyone does that, I I will be more open minded to it. Doesn't mean I still want it though. Doesn't mean I want it. And another thing is like like this decade has pretty much been the the Pixar sequel decade, right? Because like yeah, how many of them? Are, Monster, many? Monsters University, Incredibles two, the Finding Dory, Finding Dory, Cars two and Cars. three. Yeah, well, that, that makes more sense. That, that, that's like Monsters, lesser. Sorry, so. that's, like a dream, that's like DreamWorks Pixar. And, uh, and half of them have been yeah. not good, and they, the other half have been they, they good. They mentioned but that, that after Toy Story 4, Incredibles it's, it's original stories from here. No, that, it's, it's good, but... I will say, can I just I say, I'm really that. upset that this this didn't beat uh, Incredibles 2. It had Marvel. way more hype. Like, everyone yeah, was, like, I, I was like, It actually didn't do that... It didn't do as well as even Disney thought it would. Like people were like, "Let's go do like 170 million. Let's go fucking. What let's do? go do so well. I think people 100, 118, which is more yeah. than Toy Story 3. No, that's still really good. Don't get me wrong. I mean, yeah, that's more than Toy Story 3. And that I, one I think it has cost legs. a billion. So. I think it has. Legs. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's definitely. I mean, next week there's like fucking nothing. What comes out next week besides Avengers. Annabelle? <laughs> no, yeah. no, like right. okay, like Annabelle, but like kids yesterday. Don't kids don't want to see yesterday. Mm-hmm. No one wants to see kids yesterday. Want to see yesterday. <laughs> I forgot yesterday even fucking came out this. this uh, I, I thought it like came out already. I was like, no, no, I, I think I th- I have faith in it. I think it'll still pull it through. I think it's. Gonna oh, like you a- know what? Shit, Spider Man comes out next week though. Like next next week. Yeah. Like, two weeks from now. So that that might take. Still some. kind of. Because kids it has, are gonna. It has two number no, one kids weeks, are yeah, young kids are gonna want to see Spider Man though. Like, it, has, like, it has two number one. Spider Man. Yeah, I know, I know. Disney, Disney, like, oh, they might have a bomb here and there, but shit. This is a, this <laughs> like, a bomb, Story still, 4, though. Or bomb. Yeah, bomb. Toy Story, no, Toy Story 4 is not bomb. I'm talking about there's other movies this year they made that bombed, like, uh... Dumbo. Shit. Uh, Dumbo that bombed, but there was another one recently that bombed. Why am I not thinking of it? Solo 2, we didn't even know it came out. Oh, Dark and Phoenix. It, it is Dark Phoenix, because that's technically theirs now. That bombed hard. We'll talk about that uh, probably at the end if we have time. Um, but yeah, no, we'll, we'll talk, we'll talk more about this next week, so I don't want to get too... Fucking love Toy Story 4, go see it. Uh, it's not doing well. Yeah, I'm not I know, sure. I'm going to go, oh, I'm going only to Best made Buy. A, only uh, made all the money this weekend. I'm going to Best Buy tomorrow just to buy a bunch of plushes, because they're on sale right now for six bucks. I have to find, like, they? all the materials. They're usually, nine, they're usually nine bucks, but they're six bucks right now. Um, one, of the, one of the things with this... Uh, don't with... buy them online right now, Chris, because uh, their styles may vary, so they don't know what you're giving you. That's fine, I want anything. <laughs> One I love thing, I love all the characters in these movies, so I don't really care. The only one the only one I would say I don't like love is maybe like a couple of the Toy Story three characters, like the the Trixie, the Triceratops, maybe. She was, she, she, was, was, like, like, she was pretty boys, funny though. Yeah, with right, the, yeah, turn, that was turn funny. Left. Yeah. Turn left. Turn, turn left. Turn left. <laughs> turn now. Like, that's funny. I, I guess, uh, like, the unicorn I like too because the kid fucking like fucking with them. Let's, yo, let's kill somebody. I will, and put it I on the he's going to jail. Here. The fact that, that that joke right, came back full own. circle, and it's yeah, like, yeah, right? let's get your dad, let's arrest your dad, and then yeah. <laughs> all right, never mind. I like all those characters. Maybe the mayor. The mayor's a little too strict. The, the prickle the, pants? No, is that her name yet? Yeah, yeah no, no, she was all right. No, Miss Prickle Pants is the uh the, hedge, the hedgehog or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. 
No, I'm talking about the the mayor of this one. I forgot. Her also, name. also. Oh, yeah, fucking no. Uh, yeah, she, she was like, she was fine. I don't know, but you you mentioned Cobb. I, I love the uh, knifey. <laughs> knifey. Oh, yeah. that, was funny. that was funny. I wonder who voiced her. I, I feel like that's probably a cameo. Uh, uh, yeah. It's funny because it reminded me of the first movie's credit scene with fucking Mrs. Potato Head. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. Everyone's favorite character, Mrs. P- uh, you know what? I don't like Mrs. P- uh, she's a little too annoying. She's funny. <laughs> she is funny, but she's a little annoying. See, it's that. It's, right. that it's like she's just a Jewish woman from See, New York. And now, and now, and now we and, go. And, and uh, Don uh, Don Rickles, yeah, uh, yeah, that's, that's his name. What yeah. the fuck? Uh, <laughs> I was thinking there was Don Ron. Pickles. Don Pickles. See you guys. Oh, yeah, and now and now we go into trailers. Oh, what's no? Else? Hold on, I didn't finish what I was gonna say. Do what it. This be? Oh, oh, well, I'm, I'm telling you, we're not. We're gonna talk more about it next week. So, so if you have he wants to get it done, so you can go and fucking do whatever. Oh, we have By the way, more, I did. I, I did. Lot of, we have a lot of stuff to I did, talk about. So that's I saying. just, I just want to say one thing real quick. They do have a Forky series coming out on Disney Plus. It's like a, it's like Forky ask questions or whatever. I'm game, and the, dude. the Toy Story, the Toy Story shorts are usually really good. So I, like I'm, like, I'm, ready, I'm ready to put put down the full year on on Disney Plus. So whatever. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm ready to put down a full year just for Forky. Hell yeah, dude! I do hey, that. Can we can we have the hashtag for Forky? But but yeah, I'm but make for, that right now, hold on. For, for, for next week, I think it's gonna be. I think making Forky is gonna be more difficult than we thought because okay, we have to get mismatched googly eyes. We have, well, it's gonna be harder to, to get all the. It doesn't be hard. Gore is gonna be black. Whoa. What? <laughs> I gave you that. I gave you that that spork. Remember? <gasps> That's why you gave it to me. <laughs> Why oh, no. not fucking oh if you want to eat it, go for it. Oh, I'm a dumbass. <laughs> I didn't realize. I was like, well, you made the joke. Fork. Did I? Yeah, you say, oh yeah, I got that. Hell yeah, I could use that for Forky. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, I, you know what? I probably just said it as a joke, not thinking that's why you sent it to me. <laughs> wow, dude, I, I still have be, it. So it's gonna be funny going to Staples to get a right. A that's spork. what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. Oh. I was like, it's gonna be weird going to. Uh, luckily, my dollar store has some good like art supply stuff, so hopefully they have just uh, pipes and some sticks and shit, so I don't have to go to fucking pay like thirty dollars for a bunch of supplies. What's that shit on on the base? Is that gum? It's a. Uh, it's Play-Doh. It's like Play Doh. Play Doh. Yeah, I think it's Play Doh. You can use whatever. You can, uh, oh, we'll, we'll we'll see. We'll see you next week. We'll like be creative. Yo, be creative. As long as you have a sporking as the fucking the. Yeah. the we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it live stuff. on while we're talking about everything yeah. in the podcast. Yeah. So we're gonna start it off, show you what we have, and then we're gonna talk about it. And while we're talking, we'll be distracted, but it's fine. I'm gonna put a table right here, and we'll be like, you'll be seeing me like this the entire. Uh, and, oh, and are we gonna make occasionally? Occasionally, you'll hear me go, yeah. <laughs> so, Wait, are we gonna make it live? Yeah, well, we'll talk I about. I just shit. said that. <laughs> oh fuck, dude, that's well, gonna be hard. Hold on, Adrian, shit. are we doing it live? Do we should we have like a fifteen minute timer or something? No, no, no. So if you just oh, heard oh, exactly what I just said, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show all our stuff at the beginning, and while we're doing the podcast, you know, we have we've been doing this for fucking like we're gonna we're gonna be done in about two and a half three hours for this podcast apparently at this point. Um, yeah. by the time we're done with it, we'll have we'll have enough time to fucking do that. If a fucking <laughs> six year old girl can goddamn make Forky, yeah, in a montage, a bunch, a bunch of fifty year old men can do it. Fifty. <laughs> hey, thanks, dude. I'm forty. Hey, bro. Anyway. Yeah, oh. pretty cool. All right, trailer time. All right, we can get through these trailers pretty quick. We got, we got news still. Banana split. What? 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 What news? Let's do the news real quick then. I bet it's quick. Let's get uh, through. Charles right, play let's sucks. Do, let's That's do news. news. Let's All do right. news real quick. All Bam. Right. Jo- Joker's isn't he officially R-rated? Yeah, I mean, that's not that's not surprising. That, that's awesome. That's well, to be fair, you say that, but everybody thought Venom was gonna be rated R. And yeah, because it's and they even they even hinted out. like, yeah, it's gonna be rated R. And then like a month before it comes out, they're like, no, it's PG thirteen. But that was surprising that it was PG thirteen, right? Uh, it wasn't it was surprising. It was it was kind of surprising. What that Venom was PG thirteen? Yeah. I mean, I, what are you talking about after watching the movie? That's surprising? No, no, no. Like, beforehand. Like, all the stuff leading up to it looked more gritty and dark and violent. Yeah, yeah, especially that first trailer. That first trailer was just like, eh, I'm Tom Hardy, and uh, uh, you change sometimes. And he's screaming and shit. I was like, what the fuck? 
Yeah, so I, I hope that, I don't. I hope that isn't the case with Joker, where it's like some silly shit. Uh, like the second trailer comes out, it's like whoa. I'm, I'm glad, whoa. We're, I'm glad we're, we're R-rated though. That that's that's good. That's a good step. Yeah, I mean, I heard it's extremely dark, and also I heard there's early test screenings supposedly. Don't believe them again because it could be bullshit. But um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, it I'm is glad. actually a, a thing. Um, oh, no, I was just saying, no, I was talking about your slinky dog. I didn't realize it was actually a, a thing. I thought you just, just had a toy. I thought, I thought, I thought you just had, yeah, I thought you just had a toy oh, that no. you put on top of his head. <laughs> I bought Disneyland. Oh, yeah. I wasn't there, jackass. You should have came. I, I said it. I, you know what? If I had, like, a lot of money for some reason, then I would Sell everything. I would have I went to Disney World instead, to be fair. But, you know, maybe. Disney World's worse because you have to, like, spend days exploring it where you can just get done with everything at Disneyland. <laughs> There's so much to do. It sucks. At Disney World? Oh, yeah, no, because you had to spend each time at a separate park, I've you know? I've been to Disney World. I actually yeah. have been to Disney... Disneyland I went to when I was, like, 10. And Disney World I went to when I was, like, 16? Uh, since then, the only place I've been to is Universal. And Speaking I was like, of what? Universal, Tom Hardy's back for Venom. Oh, uh, you didn't need it right That's down. not surprising either. Yeah. <laughs> well, of course, that movie made a l- way more money than it should have. Um, it made, like, ni- almost $900 million? So like, they're gonna, I'm like, dude, the they're fuck? gonna up the the goofy factor. Dude, way the more. fucking what bomb that should have bombed recently? Like, so, some must have bombed. Like that, I'm just thinking like Venom made it nine hundred million dollars. Like, I don't know. Some must. Uh, Aquaman made one point two billion. What the fuck kind of world am I in? <laughs> like, Aquaman makes more money than the last Batman movie. What the fuck? <laughs> It made more than Superman did. It made double the amount that Man of Steel did. I, I know you don't like that movie, but still, it's Superman. Compared to Aquaman, Superman's a little bit bigger, at least I thought, until... Aquaman made more than Justice League. Oh, yeah. Well, that makes sense to me, because that movie nobody cared no, about. if you asked, like, five years ago... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. But, like, even, like, Batman v Superman, there was just a lot of hype going into that movie. Like, and everybody liked the trailers. I mean, not everybody, obviously. I'm sure Kyle hated them. But uh, I didn't, I didn't, no, I didn't love them. Oh, you like the bleed? That was fun. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Do you bleed? I like the Dark design of Batman. Batman. No. Yeah, I really like the Batman design. But um, yeah. So Venom, whatever. Tom Hardy wants a fucking paycheck. It, it seemed like he he had a really good. Tom time. Hardy was was hilarious. Yeah. In the movie, dude. Yeah, just, you can tell they're gonna, up, they're gonna up that so much though in the sequel. Are you ready for? Yeah, I'm are actually you ready okay for with what, that. Are you ready for? No, I no. I'm just saying. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Well, with his fucking fake ass red wig, he's just he like, looks like. I hope they keep the red I wig. I hope they look exactly like that. I'm yeah. down. I hope it's actually bigger. I was <laughs> gonna say something, but I'm not gonna say it. Next new story oh, is say. uh. Oh, that's next next one. Next one. Yeah, uh, exactly. Kingsman <laughs> is now the Kingsman. I hate that fucking title. I hate it. So it's so. St- you, you could tell like someone's like, we have to do a prequel. We need to call it something else that differentiates it from the Kingsman. So let's go. Oh, you know what? Let's call it the King's Man. Third. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Yeah. Or, or, or it's like if they called it Duty Calls or something. It's like, Duty well, calls. we switched it up, baby. This time it's called something different. Our Warfare of Modern. So that doesn't make any sense. But whatever. <laughs> it's just, I, I don't like that title, especially since they had a, a decent title before. It was Kingsman The Great Game, I think. Which is like, all right, fine. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, I don't care, but like this, the King's Man. Like, I, I have an issue. That's well, like not putting X Men in front of Dark Phoenix. I, like, I why get, the fuck would you not do that? I get, I get why they're doing a whole night. I, I just, I have an, a, uh, I have a personal issue when when tiles aren't in like sequential order or like they're not clean. Like I'm having that issue with John Wick Chapter Three. Parabellum. Yeah, I, I get was, why it's Parabellum, but I like John yeah. Wick Chapter Three. It's, just, it's clean. No, I was okay. I was okay with that because it's still called Chapter Three at least. Yeah, which is fine. But if they drop that, I'm gonna get upset with it. Fast and Furious yeah. is a nightmare, dude. Yo, Fast and Furious is like worse than like Rambo. Where Rambo, the first one's called First Blood. The second one's called Rambo. First Blood Part Two. Third one's called but, Rambo Three. The okay. fourth one's just called Rambo. And then this one, this last one, they corrected it kind of by calling it Rambo Last Blood. But it's just like, what the fuck? The, the, thing, the, with Fast and, Rambo? the thing with Fast and Furious, though, is it's consistent in how inconsistent it is from the start. I will say that Fast and Furious. There is, yeah, there is, there is something about the titles that make me immediately like recall scenes. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like two that, hops, that, that, two shots. 
<laughs> Besides the fourth one, which I fucking hate. I remember uh, I they're going through that, that tunnel. I remember yeah, that. I do remember that. It gave me a fucking No, that, that movie uh, sucks. Yeah, I hated that movie. I, I can't believe that's the one that got it back into, like, oh, yeah, now it's a really big blockbuster. And then the fifth well, one, of course, was high. way better. Because totally. after the fourth one, I was like, fuck this franchise. And I saw the fifth one, I was like, I don't oh, know shit. how. That's I don't know fun. how. Yeah, that was a really fun movie. I don't know how the fuck they did it. But every time I think Fast Five, I think of the fucking the the, the race, the racing with the vault and stuff. And the sixth one, I think of the airplane, the cargo plane. The seventh one, I think of Paul. Uh, oh no 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 no! The, the, you know when they're going through the buildings like car hopping. Yeah yeah, but I do think of the last scene more. Yeah. I mean that's, oh, that's oh, oh, of course. Yeah. And Fate of Furious, I think of. The God's Eye or whatever the fuck that was called, and uh, no, I think of him drifting around a fucking rock. No, I think of him drifting around a rock to get away from a missile. <laughs> That's what I think of with the eighth movie. Uh, like the second one, I think of like the, like when Tyrese. they jump on the boat. Yeah, I, I think of more like Paul Walker and Tyrese playing grab ass, but. Yeah. Uh, that was weird. And the third one, I think, is, uh, what do you mean, Donkey Kong? Or whatever? Uh, yeah, you remember the Hulk car from Tokyo Drift? I, it was literally no. just a car that... that <laughs> oh, and oh, like this coming out of it. it oh, was, was it like? Hulk wait, was it like an advertisement for the Hulk movie? Because that was the same I, year. Like. <laughs> no, 2006. No. Oh, is that, oh, that's 2006. You're right. No, no, no. It was literally like, like, like fists were coming out of the car and stuff. It looked so bad. <laughs> we're like, oh hell yeah, we gonna drive us some cars. There's a scene in Tokyo Drift, like a bunch of cars just like drifting, like it's a fucking ballet or some shit. Yeah, I mean that stuff's probably cool to look at, but I'm just like I, I don't I'm not interested in just cars, you know what I mean? That's why when Fast Five was just like we got a fucking vault, I'm like what? <laughs> this is it's banging oh, and man. shit. Like, I love these movies. So and much. I actually started liking Vin Diesel because I didn't I never really liked this character until the fifth one because he was always just like yo I'm the cool guy, you know? <laughs> like, hey, he's like he's like Riddick if he was in the 21st century. Besides whatever fucking you know whatever, he's just yeah. like I'm the cool guy, you know? God damn. I like, actually, I guess it's more like his character from Triple X. All right, that was that was the, the Kingsman talk. Yeah, I mean we can't talk we can't talk about the fucking movie because there's no trailer. There's no. barely a pl- plot synopsis. The trailer better fucking like knock me out of the park. Cause doesn't even have Taron Egerton. I'm like, I'm okay with that because it actually has a really good cast. I'm sure, so, but I'm still like I, I still love like I, I like, that, I like that boy. Oh yeah, I love that boy. Protect that I boy. I love him. Love him. <laughs> nah. I, yeah, you don't need to protect him. I, I feel like he's getting pussy left and right. So, no, protect him. all right. Uh, <laughs> last story is a quick one. Is Avengers getting re-released next week with bonus footage, which isn't really going to be like some people are, are anticipating. It's going to be like, oh, there's going to be some game changer scene. It's going to be a post credit uh, with Stanley, probably uh, an actual like post credit to like look at what's going forward and uh, some other. Wait, part. there's a post credit scene with Stanley. They're doing some Stanley uh, tribute at the very end. Oh, okay. Um, and there's gonna be there's gonna be some bonus credit footage. We don't know what that okay. is yet. Um, speculation is that they'll probably show Nova in it. We don't know yet. Okay. Oh, uh, one thing. All right, hold on. All right, I didn't know about the the Stanley thing's cool. Don't get me wrong, but I feel like that does that feel like they're using him to make more money? Uh huh. No, you didn't. It. No, you're kidding. No, shut up. Just I don't, I don't go. Feel that at all. That, but they added that, like, they didn't save that as a surprise, is what I'm saying. They they said, like, come back to theaters so we can beat Avatar. Well, I, I, think, I think they need to be they need to be completely clear with what they're having, because some people, again, like I said at the beginning of this, some people think it's going to be some game-changer scene. There's like, no, this is exactly it. There's a, there's a bonus scene, there's a Stanley uh, tribute, done. Yeah. Sure, hold on, my thing keeps going out. But, um, yeah, no, I, I get that, but... Uh, I, I don't think this is to, like, is this is... Well, obviously it's a cash grab because they, they're trying to be Avatar now. I don't think that that specifically. There you go. All right, sorry. No, Say it again. Is, I, don't, I don't think this this is obviously a cash grab because we need to be Avatar. But I'm not yeah, saying I'm... that this is a this is a uh, a abuse of his name because this, this is sure, sure. telling you exactly what's going to happen. They're putting a tribute in there. They want to keep it in there, and they want to let yeah. you know exactly because because people need to know what they're getting into. Because I think I, I know, think expectations but does... going into this are way too high. I, I feel like that should have been in Captain Marvel, which I guess they already kind of had a tribute thing, but like Endgame no, it wouldn't I, have fit. No, Endgame, I, I, Endgame it I wouldn't get, have fit, fit because I get you know, why because you know, it's a culmination and we had to finish that story. Yeah, but yeah, this yeah. also it's also a celebration of the end of the MCU saga. Yeah, but it's nice that it's it's in, unfortunate, obviously, but it's 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 a tribute to to what he he helped create in these first 
movie. Well, then it would you make know, sense. It would have been no. Nice. But see, and yeah. I'll just say that is yeah, it makes sense in Spider Man because that's, that's baby. the end of it. That's also and his that's baby. also that's also technically the end of the saga. Right, but that's also Sony shit. So yeah. Marvel's not gonna deal with it. What? What the fuck, dude? Stan Lee had a fucking cameo in Venom. Remember that? Yeah, but but still, Sony don't care. They'll put him in there. No, it's not Sony that wants. It. I think Marvel wants it for themselves still. Remember, yeah, Seth, I, I uh, Spider-Man movies I give it. a lot of money to Sony. They'd rather have that for uh, Endgame. Now, uh, yeah, all right. I mean, I, I just I just find it a little weird. It's fine though. I mean, I'm glad to know about that, and I'm glad they didn't word it as like a special thing involving Stan Lee. If they just said like. Yeah, we're gonna have a little Stanley trivia. All right, cool. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. pretty much what it is. Uh, yeah. All right, cool. Try and and I, I'll find that really cool if, like, when that comes out again, if they put it on YouTube immediately. So it's not, uh, it's not like you have to go to the theaters. You know, it's just like here's this really cool. You know, yeah, we, we gotta beat Avatar, so let's go again, dude. As you'd see now you just made it too. Like, it's just doing it to fucking make money. Well, they are. I mean, it's. it's I know, exactly but they, <laughs> that, that's fucked up, though, is it? No, I, don't, like, I don't see a problem with it. That's like that's like if Fast and Furious it was gonna 7, be uh, it was gonna be in the Blu-ray. That's like if Fury Seven said, "Come back, we're gonna have another tribute to Paul or whatever." Or they added that last tribute, scene with though. a tribute. There was a tribute at the end of Fury Seven. No, no, for for Stan Lee and Endgame though. There wasn't. Yeah, but now they I'm, can. But they could have put it in there, is what I'm saying. But you they said, it, put it, you said old... it for yourself, is that they that didn't fit. It didn't fit. They could have put it though. But they now, could put but, for Captain but now Marvel. That, now that everyone watched or it, or they could have put for Spider Man. No, first off, don't put don't put Stanley's thing in Captain Marvel. I like the movie. Why not? They already don't did put a it fucking, in there. They they put the Stanley fucking thing in the beginning. Remember with the intro? I think this is best case scenario because one, they got the original feel for Endgame. They went through it. Everyone felt what they needed to. Everyone that's gonna do this is gonna watch it again. There's very 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 few people are gonna watch it for the first time. Yeah, I know. I get, I get that. And now they'll have it here for us to watch. It's gonna sure. and this is just shit that and this is 100 percent for a cash grab. This is gonna be on the Blu-ray. If you don't want to watch it, it'll be on the Blu-ray. I'm pretty sure, I'm like 95 percent confident that's exactly what I read. It's all Blu-ray sure. shit. It, it, uh, if it's on Blu-ray, it's fine. Yeah, no, may, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly confident it's Blu-ray. This it's is just, that's a, they're re-releasing it again and make giving you an incentive to go watch it again. It just sounds like 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 make sure you show up for this fucking Stan Lee tribute so we can make that plus, fucking money. That's bonus footage. Just, just ring out Stanley's corpse for the, the, the I'm little sure bit more love money. I'm sure he Avatar being dead too, dude. Kill yeah, Avatar. I don't think Stanley gave a shit though. <laughs> I bet oh. he loved Avatar. He's just like, I love blue people or whatever. All right, moving on. Said. All right, trailer talk. Or al- sorry, aliens. Uh, talk. I don't know which one. Uh, let's talk about uh, Bad Trip. Okay. Oh. Oh, there you go, there you go, Kyle. Hell yeah, dude. All right. What do I love? Jackass. I fucking love Jackass. What do I love? People fucking with other people. Yeah. What, what else do he, I love? What is he a jackass? There you go. What else do I love? Eric Andre. Fucking yeah. perfect merging of it. You know who I love? Tiffany Haddish. She was funny. She was funny in the trailer. But yeah. <laughs> that's a, uh, she, that's like, can I just say that's like my weakness when someone just calls somebody a white motherfucker? That's just funny. I don't know. It. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I got used to it over my life. I'm just like, now it's funny. Yeah, so... I'm going to kill all you, you white You got Stockholm Syndrome with a white motherfucker. <laughs> white motherfuckers is a funny thing to yeah. do. Like, <laughs> I'm going to kill all you white motherfuckers if you say anything. It's really good. So, really, like, for me, this movie just seems like, you know, bad grandpa because there's a bit of story in there. It's from the producer. So yeah, it's the producer, Jeff, Jeff Tremaine. Yeah, so it's going to have a little bit of a story just to connect it to all these pranks and goofs on Which people. Is, it's, it, the story just seems like it's going to be the same one where it's like, we have to go on a trip. Or, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which so literally sense. gonna be the same thing. I don't give a motherfuck what it's about. Yeah, it looks okay, fucking. Yeah. It looks fucking funny to me. This is my kind of shit. So I I am down for that. Does it even come out October twenty fifth? Uh, it doesn't. October twenty fifth. I just looked it up because okay. I don't think it says in the trailer when it came out. When it comes out. So. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It, it was funny. It was a funny trailer. I I just there was a couple of uh sub guy. Hey, we're recording. Don't fucking come back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah, October. You didn't hear that, right? No. Uh, no. Yeah, October. So it's a good time, you know, right before Halloween, I guess. This you know. Yeah. <laughs> get, get some laughs in before you're scared. Um, yeah. But no, 
No, I just, I, I thought some of the, just some of the supposed, like, real people just, I don't know, I mean, I'm sure it is real reactions, just some of them, the way they edited it in the trailer made it seem like it was, like, fake. It was, it was like, the guy goes, holy shit! You know, it's, I don't know. It, it, I don't know. It, I'm sure well, it's, it's probably, it's probably cut together, so like, oh. I know, that's what I'm saying, and the, but I'm, we're reviewing the trailer, so I'm just saying, like, yeah, the trailer made it seem like, I'm sure it's real reactions, it's just like, you know, like some people just like the, the girl that runs under the table when he runs through the 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 uh, door. I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. Right. I think but, she would say more than it, it seemed like she was like directed, like, all right, now run under the table. You know, because she, she didn't say it. She went, oh, and, you know, so, I don't know. right. I'm, anyway, besides that, just, just else, premise hey, alone. Yeah, I'm but so besides bad. that, everything else was fucking funny, bro. And it's directed by uh, the guy who does all the Air Contra episodes. Eric Andre show episodes. So. It makes sense because I mean, immediately the first thing they show is Eric Andre's clothes getting ripped off, yeah. which is like I, I think maybe ten skits in <laughs> Eric Andre involves him taking his clothes off or yeah. them getting ripped off. Just funny. Yeah. We were wrong. He doesn't care about but, showing his little dick. Yeah. When it when it comes to movies, it takes <laughs> it takes a lot for me to laugh during movies unless it's like Toy Story where there's actually a good scripts. Uh, but Jackass always for me, dude. I left. I, I left. I would love. I, I we've talked about this. We had that one episode where we lost it, I think, because we we talked Jackass. Uh, the only issue I have with Jackass is the shit skits. I <laughs> doubt there's gonna be. It was just yeah. one guy from Jackass. Like that was his shtick. Like, oh, I'm gonna poo in the house. Oh, I'm yeah, gonna if poo I, in if the you, if, someone, if someone could edit out all the shit parts of Jackass, it's literally the perfect thing to me. Yeah, it's awesome. I love that shit. As a as a white uh, redneck, I get it. Awesome shit. As a yeah, white he redneck, like, he likes that said? shit. He's like that shit. Literally, when All it comes right. out of the volcano. But yeah, uh, no, really, uh, it, was really pleasant, it was a pleasant it was a pleasant surprise. I saw this trailer for the first time today during. I didn't uh, even fucking know about play. it. I had no idea about it either. It was a pleasant surprise. I laughed. Yeah. I, I, mean, I didn't. I didn't have any. It was before a couple days ago. Yeah, yeah, it was. I, part, I got like best part. I got like four red band trailers before fucking Charles play. They didn't. You know what? I got I got many red bands except for fucking uh, uh good boys. Yes, I got yeah same. I get that all the time. I actually got a green band trailer for it during yeah, uh, Anna. yeah me. Which Why? Is funny. I, I don't know. I, I think the the green band is also kind of funny because they had to censor it. It out. is pretty funny. <laughs> it was actually uh, because it came out like a week ago. And I had to do a reaction. I was like, I mean, it's green band. Who gives a fuck? And then I watch it in the theater. I'm like, that's pretty funny actually. <laughs> Yeah. There's a few different things, but still, I mean, <laughs> you, stick it's a, a, you stick the tampon up their butts so they don't get pregnant. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, Good Boys looks funny. This yeah, looks funny. Like, I actually heard it's pretty good. It has like a yeah, 80% right now around Tomatoes, so that's pretty good. Cool. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll take 80%. Looks good. I mean, I'm Although, try yeah. All right. Every, uh, good, every good review I read it says like it's a live action South Park. And every bad review I read said it's a live action South Park. So right, I, now, to, I tell you, that tells you why. Do they mean early South Park? Because I'm down for that. Oh, I don't know. They just said South Park. So. No. All right. Next next movie trailer is the Banana Splits movie. Okay. Well, all right. Well, Kyle doesn't get it. He's he's, he's a, <laughs> okay. He's a millennial. They, he doesn't okay. understand Banana Splits. They repurpose a Freddy, a Five Nights at Freddy's movie, and they and so because in. they couldn't get the license. It's, All it's right. almost it's hilarious license. how I, in I am on this, honestly. It's more funny in premise, I think. I think it would be funny in the movie if they take it seriously. I think if it would be actually funny if they take it seriously. If, if they don't lean into it, but they do on accident. Yeah, yeah, on accident. It, it, it's it, like they're making a, a – they're, or they're at least trying to make a real horror movie, and it's just bad. <laughs> like, exactly like, on, what I think. Not on purpose. Not on purpose. Like, uh, I, 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 I don't know. It could be funny. It could. The trailer itself was cool. <laughs> it's just because, like, Banana Splits, I never watched it personally, but I know what Banana Splits are. I know the song. The song I know, definitely. Um, and I just, uh, I like the trailer just because uh, they took something and they did the 21 Jump Street thing, I guess, and made it rated R, except they did a completely different thing. They could, I guess they could have made it, like, Happy Time Murders, where, like, they're all, like, saying shit huh. and whatever. I don't like that, now. Uh, yeah. Right, I like I like the idea that it turns into a horror movie. I was like, all right, that's good. That's uh, a good exactly, idea. Exactly what I was thinking. I, I, now, didn't, I, you know what's funny is I didn't know this is a horror movie. So literally, I just started. Your, right. I started the trailer. And it says 
for horror and violence and gore. I'm like, what the yeah. fuck am I about to watch? I wish they didn't put that in the beginning. That would be so it's good. I think that way. Yeah, I like, because, because that's what I liked about Sausage Party's trailer. Sausage Party's trailer just starts. And if you don't know what the fuck it is, it starts and it's like, oh, it's, you know, whatever. It's like, hey, everybody's having a good time and stuff. You hear Seth Rogen, so immediately go, okay, that's a little weird. Um, but he's in, he's in The Lion King now, so I guess, it, you know, whatever. He's in kid stuff now. Um, and then <laughs> he's like, he gets shredded and he's like, Jesus fuck! It's just like, <laughs> even that caught me off guard, even though I already knew who it was. But, uh, yeah. There's nothing like that in this trailer, though, I will say. There, was, there wasn't even that much violence, really. But it uh, looks good. It looks fun. It looks almost like a college humor skit, though. Yeah, 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 but I'm fine with it. I, but to be fair, college humor skits are you know well produced. I, for like an I'm older, down, I'm older. down for a yeah, cheesy, dumb, stupid ass premise on the banana splits. Yeah, which is uh, something that if they made a movie now, like a legit banana splits movie, no, everybody be like, "What the fuck are the banana splits?" Yeah. That's like making the Country Bears movie. Like, what are you doing? Oh, oh, Nobody oh. gives a shit. Oh, Make Country Bears horror you. movie. Country Bears horror movie? Great idea. Do it. With Christopher Walken. Let's do it. Yeah, bring Christopher Walken. He's the same character. Uh, All right. Anyway, that's, that's, that's pretty much it, man. Yeah, splits. Uh, let's talk about the We can through these quick, baby. The Peanut Butter Falcon. All right. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, so... You, you only watch half the trailer. I watched all of it. You okay. All right. Uh, all right. I, it sounded like some dumb kids movie, Peanut Butter Falcon. The fuck is that? And then you saw it with an indie movie, and you're like, oh, yeah. No, I see Shia you LaBeouf. Saw, you saw a Sundance hey, Festival you in there, you and you're Shia like, Shia I've been with Shia LaBeouf That's since the said. fucking beginning. Even Stevens? Y- even Stevens? I like Disturbia. I liked him in Indiana I, Jones 4. I liked, it. I liked him in Indiana Jones 4 also. Everybody oh. hated him in that. I was just like, yeah, you just hate him because it's Shia LaBeouf. I, I like Shia LaBeouf. I like I like him too. I don't like him in the Transformers movies. Oh, of course, but it's like Robert Pattinson in Twilight. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, but I don't Peace like him. With the, I'm not saying he's a bad actor. I can't I'm wait for him like, to watch this movie and cry. Yeah. Okay, I don't know. This one, this one looks like it's gonna be one of those kind of like feel good movies. I guess. It might oh, be. A, it, it said uh, the, like the, the movie. yeah yeah. It said it like in the in the thing. The feeliest good movie I've ever yeah. seen. Yeah, that, that was kind of cringe, but uh, other than that, I mean, there's a quote. Fair yeah, 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 I know. But it, no, it looked it looked good. I like the setting a lot. Imagine it wasn't a quote. They just said that. <laughs> yeah, the feelest, goodiest movie of the de- they said of the decade actually. Decade, yeah. Which yeah. the decade's almost over, so. That's yeah, Jesus, man. Are you sure? Are you sure about are you, that? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure, buddy? Are you sure? Well, uh, yeah, I, like the, I like the premise a lot. It, it looks like it has a lot of heart into it. And that's kind of what it I want right now. Good. It looks good. I feel like I, we haven't had any big. Uh, Indie, we're getting that. We're starting to get to the, the half of the year where all the indie movies start really start piling on. Finally, thank you, Lord. Oh, forgot to put go. my oh, yeah. I forgot to put my megaphone head there. I bought that at the oh, con. God. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, it's okay. perfect, Lois. It's, per- it's perfect, Lois. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, no, god. we're getting to, we're getting to Kyle's uh, half of the year right now. Hell yeah, dude. Let's yeah. go. That's good. I, I like those too. When does it come out? I also like big budget movies too if they're good. I, uh, I, I said August. Respect. Um, yeah, that makes sense. I think yeah. there was already a, like a trailer before for this, maybe. Uh, I've never heard of this fucking movie until today. Oh, uh, uh, maybe not then. It's uh, weird that this this one this trailer was actually trending. Like it was in the top ten trending on YouTube. Yeah, because Shia LaBeouf, like he's Shia LaBeouf's not that big of an actor though anymore. I mean, he's really like, not. He's more known as like a, just a person. Like he's he's a he's a, shit. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's just a a known personality. I he's guess he's like. Let's all watch my movies together, you know. I'll go on a road trip with you, you know. Yeah, uh, he will not divide us. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. I wore Jeez. a bag on my head, you know. I'm oh, not I'm not anymore. famous anymore. I'm going to... I like him as an actor, but he's kind of a jackass. In real life. I don't know, totally, but I love him. I, I he's, like him. He's truthful. And uh, I'm excited. He's going to be in this and Honey Boy, a movie about his life <laughs> that he's in. What the I'm fuck? fucking... You don't know about that? He... he oh. He, I, know, uh, I heard the title Honey Boy. I didn't know it was about his life. Yeah, it's about Shia LaBeouf's life, and he's playing himself. Well, what the fuck with you? What, I, t- what's I don't so interesting that. about his life. I mean, maybe Dude, it there sounds is hilarious. It sounds hilarious. Maybe yeah. it would be a comedy. Maybe. I don't think. I, it's, Wait, is he like, playing himself? Yeah. Oh shit. He's play, right, he, he played it like Can, and everyone was like, "What the fuck is this? Like, Does what?" He play a young version of himself? That'd be funny. I don't. I don't know. I, I don't. guess he even shaves his freaking scruff. <laughs> he, he looks young still. I guess. Anyway, you played a can. 
All right. Yeah. Uh, oh, but, but it, it oh, wait, like, wait, 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 wait. Wait, uh, uh, yeah. Honey Boy is not literally his life; it's like based on his life. Oh, okay. Right. He is a, it's a story of a child star attempting to mend his relationship with his father, based oh. on loosely based on Shia LaBeouf's life. And he's playing okay. Oh, loosely. Okay. Yeah, I was expecting to see even Stevens like he's there day one or whatever, and I'll skip the Transformers or some shit. Yeah. Or Holes, I guess. Holes would be the next thing. Anyway, yeah. next next track. All right. Cool. All right, and Excellent. last trailer for this week is uh, Ready Frozen. or Not. Uh, I thought we were talking we about No, I didn't even watch that trailer yet, so we'll save it for next week. It was a good trailer. Uh, I'm actually looking forward to Frozen 2. I, I, don't, I, I can't even believe I'm saying that. But anyway. I like, I don't know why this is the smallest thing ever. Uh, I like they're going with the, the Roman numeral 2. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes it Makes it more mature. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it makes it more so, mature. anyway, Ready or Not. I feel like Disney does that all the time, except for, you know, Toy Story. Ready or not. What a, what an interesting premise, I think. It's just gay night, but it's a horror movie. You liked it. I was I was in here. I'm just saying. like that's Watching him watch the trailer. Interesting he, he about the premise. It. He was liking it. He's lying. No, it, I, I said... I said that too in my trailer. I didn't say it was exactly like Game Night. Though. I didn't it, see it just it. has the it has the premise of there's a, a society of people that play games. Yeah, or it's That's like the, and they're playing hide and seek. Except you know, Game Night was like detective or whatever the fuck that was. It's, it's, them it's trying to figure out where he got kidnapped. Yeah, a bit like a uh, uh, most dangerous game. Yeah, right? a little bit like, like hunt people. So that was like hunting people. Oh, yeah. but I, I, I did think it looked good. It looks yeah. fun. I, you know what I really like? It looks like one of those like a like a free fire kind of movie where it's gonna. It's I know you didn't like free fire, but um. Did you oh, like Free Fire? Yeah, it was fine. Uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't love it. It was just like... Oh, I mean, it was... That makes I, it, the, the trailer looked really good for Free Fire, I thought. But, um, yeah, it was just... It, it's one of those premises that I like. It's just like, it's simple. Yeah, Free Fire yeah. was literally a drug... A, a gun deal that went bad, and everybody's in this building, and they just start shooting at each other for, like, right. 80 minutes. I thought it was a great premise. <laughs> they just trying to kill each other because of something stupid that happened during this uh, gun deal. But here it's just like I like this premise. It's like it's hide and seek, except oh, we seek it somebody. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a ritual. It's almost like Cabin in the Woods a little bit too. There's a ritual. Yeah. They have to go through these like horror movie things where they have to find somebody or whatever. I don't know why they have to find like. I love the first kill in that movie though. Oh yeah, yeah, the maid. Which you can already tell. You can already tell that maid's an asshole. Yeah. Just the way she was talking, I'm just like I can't wait until she died. I do wish they didn't show the second death though. Even though it's funny, I'm just like. I mean, the I know they're probably they're the one where she gets like the the arrow into the mouth. Um, arrow into the mouth. <laughs> yeah, that was cool, but I wish that like I, one one kill is fine. You don't need to show all of them. You show two. Hopefully, that's not all of them. <laughs> but uh, show three. Uh, but I mean, yeah, they kind of did show three actually. They yeah, showed somebody getting shot at one point, right, or something like that. Yeah, that, that you don't was, really you don't really. That see was it, one though. of the trailers where I had that weird epiphany moment that I hate having during trailers, where it's like I just start over analyzing the trailer for a second. I'm like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna remember shots in my head where I'm like, I'm gonna watch a movie and be like, oh, what happened to this shot? Where's that shot? Oh, that thing's still coming up. I don't know why. I do that every occasionally with some trailer where I just the shaft. No. Did you, did you have a shaft? No. Oh, it, was, it happens very, like, it happens very rarely. While I'll just over I kind of did that with shaft because I was just like, that part where the fuck is he? No, the part when they go through the window, I was just like, that's probably at the end. I was like, yeah, it's at the end. Like when they're like repelling in or whatever. I was like, yeah, that's gonna be at the end. But um. But anyway. I'm, I'm. This one looks 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 like a fun time though. It okay. looks like a fun time. It only comes out. It's like two months. You don't have to wait that long. The trailer right. just came out a few days ago. So, all right. I, you know, what? I like when movies have quick releases after the trailers. Like two months. Don't even need, don't even need to watch the trailer for you know like twenty years until the movie comes out. You know that Trolls two. We talked about Trolls two. That that trailer showed during <laughs> Toy Story four, and then at the end it said it comes out April. I'm like, oh my fuck. I'm gonna see that trailer uh, for ten uh, fucking months. <laughs> oh wait, it comes out April. It said next no, no, year. No, no, wait. We didn't what? talk about our Toy Story four theater experience. Oh fuck. We'll, we'll save it for next week. No, we gotta wrap it up. Oh. Yeah, we're, we're we're already like at almost two and a half hours. Oh my god, oh, that's the longest podcast. Oh, and then Gorge got to talk about box office, which she hasn't pulled up uh, yet. So we're gonna. Uh, go. uh, we can no. skip box office. <laughs> we can skip box office. Oh, let's hear. Toy Story four did well. Uh, yeah, it did really well. But no, no, no. I'm, uh, Ready, Ready or Not looks really good, I think. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And I like uh, the girl in there, the fake Margot Robbie. I like her. She was yeah. in The Babysitter. Margot Robbie? 
Mark, yeah, Mark you got know what? Robbie. That's what tripped me up. I was something weird was going on in my head where I'm like, oh, because I just watched Once Upon a Time in Hollywood trailer before yeah. that, and it threw me the fuck off. I was like, hold on. Which, by the way, I've seen that trailer a lot, but I'm okay. Yeah, with it. I love that trailer. I don't care. It's so good. <laughs> Every time, I, I, I still feel like I'm not getting. I feel like I'm, I'm not getting the movie at all in it. It's I know. Nice. I'm still trying to figure out how it ties in with the Sharon Tate murder. Like, oh, I really, which is nice. Really? I, I'm glad. I'm glad. Well, it's not based on anything like real. No, I know. But I the two main characters. So I'm like, the two main characters yeah. are fake ones. They're like based yeah, on. I, I think the main guy's based on. Or the yeah, the main guy's based on um, uh, Burt Reynolds. But that's it. Anyway, right. Well, I, I my theory is that uh, Rick Dalton, right? Yeah. Uh, he's gonna be like, he's gonna have a flop or something, so he just like yeah. needs to find some place to like, someone will accept him, so he goes to the Manson Ranch. It's a little weird though. Or like, it, like, well, like he he meets it, it one seems of like the Manson stunt girls. Man, Brad Pitt's character is R- right, guy. right, okay, yeah, the guy that goes there, but um, yeah. I don't know. Anyway, right. we'll, we'll talk about that when the movie comes out. Yeah. Which I'm excited. I'll be July seeing it. 26th. I'll be seeing, I know, well, technically 25th. That's my birthday. I'll be seeing it oh. on my birthday. Go spend I'll my be birthday seeing it with, with my girlfriend. Hell yeah, let's go. I'll be seeing it by Record? myself. Oh, no, wait, are you going to be alive by then? <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. oh, I'll definitely be alive by 16 then. days, buddy. Yeah, actually, Kyle, you're not going to be seeing it with your girlfriend. <laughs> oh, no. You'll be seeing it with me. Tickets, so You'll be seeing it with me as I'm beating the shit out of you <laughs> for <laughs> the gonna have 20th me there day for... in a row. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Well, I won't make it last. <laughs> okay, so everyone hasn't been in touch. Uh, Kyle's gonna kill Chris in 16 days. On July 8th. I don't know why he's saying. <laughs> I, I, can I just say one thing? I completely forgot the reason why he's gonna come and kill me now. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember why it was July. 8th. I don't remember why either. I probably said like something snooty at one point. <laughs> <laughs> I probably said like go dumb. <laughs> got Why July eighth though? That's what I don't remember. Well, because it was it, you looked up how how long it'll take uh, to walk right. to New York to kill right. me. <laughs> right. Which I'm still. And this, you're dumbass didn't tell. realize that I meant continuous walking, so you'd have to walk continuously. No I stop. I have been though. I have been though. So. Oh yeah, that's why it's the same uh, dorm room, the same. Dorm I, I made it look like that, dude. Uh, oh, there's a wow. green screen that's, right that's behind me. That's a lot of extra work. You're not moving right that's now. That's a lot of so. extra work to, to just admit to him immediately. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. I don't think he's not walking right now, so he's already lying. The so. the roommate that walked in, that that was like pre recorded. Like, why, why do you ago. think there was oh. no interaction? Why do you think he didn't go to the oh. screen? Right yeah, now? that's why he got all tensed up like this whenever he came in. <laughs> <laughs> got all awkward. All right, all right we're done. <laughs> well, no box oh office. Oh my god! At least you weren't doing the box office. Well, no, that's, I said I'm not, I'm not doing box office if I could tell my theater experience, but if I can't, then I might as well do box office. Uh, Toy Story four did really well. I just wait, wait, say, wait, 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 wait. I don't know why you're all upset, Adrian. I have to fuck edit it. How is Ugly Dolls doing? Hold on. That's another <laughs> toys thing that are alive. Uh, it's not on the list anymore. What? Yeah, STX, that's... how could you do this to us, boy? It's gone. Yeah, it's gone. Sorry. Oh, no. Yeah, uh, I don't think... I don't. Yeah, that didn't do well. Uh, but Captain Marvel's still. <laughs> it uh, came out two months before <laughs> Ugly Dolls. So, yeah. I mean, you know... Silver lining, I guess. Playbook. D- Dumbo is still in the top twenty. What? Uh, Dumbo well, came out. Okay, it's number twenty. Yeah, it's number twenty. It's in the top twenty. It's number twenty. All right, so Toy Story Four did extremely well. It it didn't do as well as I hoped. I wanted to make more money because it deserved it. <laughs> it did yeah. hundred fourteen million more than the set number two. Yeah, yeah, that's good math right there. Actually, that's yeah. right. Shit. <laughs> I'm looking at it right now. Right. He, he was telling you it was good math. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah I was being serious. I thought Child's Play made a little bit more of that. Uh, yeah, no, I made $14 million. All right, good job. Good job. Child's Play did okay for its budget. Um, and uh, we'll be seeing tens of thousands of sequels, all based on Robot Chucky. Oh, he's upset. <laughs> Look out. That's the souls of a dead man. That's like the eye. The eye I said the souls. I meant the eyes. Uh, that's like the eyes of Michael Myers. Wait, holy shit! And I'm fucking bombed. Holy shit! Yeah, and I'm. Bu- well, that makes sense. You know, you know the whole thing about Luke Besson right now. Why? Everybody's accusing him of sexual misconduct. Oh, uh, really? Uh, so this movie was not marketed almost at all. Supposedly, I, it, I saw a bunch of It was shorts. literally no, no. The trailer is short, but like when it comes to like TV spots and stuff, there's like nothing. Supposedly, wow. they they buried this bitch. So, uh, 
No, I was talking about the movie. Uh, the movie, it was okay. Like I said, I, I like the, the, the girl, Sasha L- Luss, I think her name is. I thought you were uh, Sasha was, Lane. I was like, what? Sasha, Sasha Lane. Um, who was that? Uh, American oh, Honey. American Hellboy. Hellboy, of course. In the best movie. That was uh, a good movie, Adrian. Uh, uh and, and, Anna did, mm-hmm. Did bad, but didn't do bad. Considering it did worse than Shaft in its second week. I know, but you have to consider the no marketing and nobody wants to have anything to do with Luke Besson right now. So, and it, there's no major stars in it. it. Sucks. So, I mean, it's not it's not Keanu Reeves in it, you know. I mean, yeah, yeah. Oh, well. He should have had a cameo. He cameos in fucking everything nowadays. So, yeah, for him. All right. Yeah, good for him. Good, good boy. Uh, so there you go. That's it. Wait, no. I, how there's is, our stuff, but it you know. how are the movies that have been bombing doing? Oh, like Godzilla, good. Dark Phoenix, Shaft. Uh, I think Godzilla finally made 100 million, so they're good. Ooh, that. wow. Uh, yeah, 102 million right now. Actually, I think Godzilla is doing okay worldwide. So, oh, well, good, good for them. Uh, 350 million so far. So after Child's Play, I hope Dark Phoenix makes 500 million. Dark Phoenix made three million this week. It's only made sixty million. It's so already fast. it's already gone for most theaters. Also, by the way, it's minus only been out, one thousand. It's only been out for three weeks, by the way. Major How many volume. theaters did it lose? A lot, I think. Minus one thousand six hundred sixty-seven. Ooh, ooh. Uh, could I get a yikes? Ooh. Oh, that's yikes! Ooh, dark yikes! Bro, you just posted ooh. yikes. You posted yikes! You just Bruh. posted yikes in this your bra. You're hey, going to yo. lose audience. Yo, bro, you just fucked up, bro. Bro, that's a big yikes. Big you yikes for me, dog. I'm trying to think of other British things. I, I, I can only think Boy, of bro, bro, What's the other one? Uh, you tosser. Poor blimey. You tosser. You just post your cringe, bro. You, you little right. biscuit. That was I, not other podcast. I love British slang. Episode thirty something. Thirty seven. There's another one I love. There's another British slang term. Wait, did you say 32, Adrian? No. Yeah, I don't know why I keep saying I don't know why it's I keep 42. Saying. Yeah. Oh, my God. Jackie Robinson. 